Is everyone here ready for another exciting episode of Starfinder? Yes. Yara Naika. Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Starfinder. We're a bit, we're battered, we're beaten, we're really tired. <laughs> Adex's <laughs> body is broken from last encounter. We're all really sleepy. But I'd like to inform everyone that um, thank you all so very much for coming over to the first episode of Starfinder. Thanks so much for coming over and saying hello. Of course, if you want, um, if you like this type of stuff and want to help support the show, remember you can always watch us either live on YouTube or Twitch, along with uh, supporting us here on Patreon. Uh, dot com forward slash dare to declaration so thank you so much everybody who's been helping us so far to make this little starfinder one shot possible but of course it can't be possible without the amazing players that bring you this show starting off with oda roshi it's me odo i'm playing lisa sarissa the ramiel mystic and uh you know i'm i'm not eepy at all i get so much sleep at night i I'm vibing. I have caffeine. Bed? Let's not talk about that. Let's 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 not let's watch the numbers say. Let's 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 not talk about the time that I go to bed. Let's just talk about the time that I woke up, which was in the morning. And the possibly one that might have more hours to sleep is next up, Hulky Crow. Hello, I am Hulky Crow, and that is an entirely false statement on behalf of Zorin. Please, let's not let's not get ourselves here. But today, I will be playing the Moyushu Envoy Duran Discordia de Deleterious, and it is so nice to be back. I miss this cast. And of course, we all missed you. But of course, someone who might be too nervous to see you with your dazzling smile is Arendelle. I'm not nervous. I'm Erndil, and I'm I'm here. But you know who is nervous is the fucking poor crab woman that I'm playing as. Uh, Kesher, the Recreci, and she is very, very nervous. But not quite so much now that everything is everything that was threatening her is currently dead. Just for now. No, for now. Till next time. For now. Can we circle you? Can we just, like... I mean, do what you like want to, crab? Right? That's up to you, I guess. I mean, <laughs> fucking do what you want, frickin' pervert. Murder. Okay, next, we have next one planning your imminent invasion is Speaker D. Hello, everyone. I am Speaker D, and today I will be playing as Yuliel451, the gray technomancer who is out of doing the good invasion upon this world. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't let you kill our ears that time. Yeah, oh, Discord yeah, stalked you. you. <laughs> Discord yeah. learned from last time. That's so sad. I'll have to turn my sensitivity down. <laughs> yeah, disable all parameters. All safety measures gone. Eardrums targeted. Tar. But of course, our ever illustrious and amazing game master who will lead us through the stars is Mr. Thurston Hillman. Hello. I'm looking forward to round two of Starfinder. I'm also really excited for which one of you is going to recap last session. What? And of course, I it. am your host. <laughs> I'm, I'm your host for this evening. I am Zoran the Bear. I am playing the SRO. That's the ancestry and storefront I'm playing as Adex the Soldier. But of course, whoever does want to do a very, very quick summary recap of what happened last episode, as Thurston mentioned, do they get a hero point for it? They sure do. Ooh. Right, considering do none of you have a hero point, you know. Yeah, I'm going to do it because yeah. Kesha needs all the help she can get because yeah. she's really bad at most mm. things. Except engineering. She's good at that. Anyway, uh, what happened last time is when we were dumped on this dumpy little shit rock, this junk planet, Junker's Paradise, this junk house, we all were piled into the back of a space hover pickup truck or whatever equivalent vehicle it was. And we all got to know each other before we were dumped unceremoniously into one of the many towns dotting this, you know, salted dust ball. And then we ran across uh, one person who was getting beat up by a number of other hooligans. Uh, it, was a, it was a rat person. I don't know the race because I'm not overly familiar with Starfinder Thurston. You know what to do, right? Isoki. 
Yasoki, thank you. Put 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 her details up. Show show Rat. Or don't. I'm okay. Not okay. So, well, I, it takes it takes me a second to grab the things. <laughs> yeah, anyway, there's some part was, of the picture. She of the was rat. getting beat up by a local uh, local gang under the authority of presumably some higher up mob connections because you know that's always funny and you know that's that's always a problem anyway yeah there's the rat funny rat our good friend rat and rat. she was a, okay. uh, a a junk artiste making art out of junk in ways that would theoretically be profitable theoretically but not actuality uh and we were put on a mission to find someone for her in another junkyard and we had to we had to get past a bunch of like little little angry vermin that loved to eat salvage we had to go and comb through a bunch of, you know, towering junk. We waited near a uh, a giant pool of, like, toxic goop that would have killed us instantly, presumably, for any second that we spent inside it. And then we fought a giant version of those vermin later on in the area. And uh, we, we got our asses beat killing it because this is uh, level one in... Uh, Starfinder, first edition. So we, we were not terribly effective at level one, but we killed it. We killed it, and then we found the person who, as I recall, was either a cyborg or an android. I think android, right? Android. Yes, I am correct. I have a memory. And uh, and then we leveled up from killing the giant bug because we're awesome. You know, just saying, poses, falls over, collapses, dies. And I think that's just about everything that we had to do. We're basically just on this planet to try and make money to get off the planet. Everyone's got their individual jobs of course but getting money to get off the planet is the big part especially for kesher who is going to be boiled by the mob if she doesn't and abex does. he's the soldier from tf2 i rocket jump what do i roll <laughs> uh die Ooh, I, 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 I lego die? disassemble in front of the party just <laughs> kesher starts making the the lego star wars reassemble noise putting you back together <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then a bunch of studs pop out of you, and I, I have to collect them. Just like German TF2. Yeah. Wow. Beats you with the shovel. But of course, Thurston. Damn. I think I got my uh, ass whooped yeah. last time. Um, you did, you did. Okay, so as we come back... Oh, by the way, uh, very good. Very good, Erndil. Very good. Uh, please give Hulky Crow a hero point. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very no, much. That, that is, no, that is on... That is on... Uh, on point for that. Kester should get nothing. All right, I gave, I gave I Durand a hero point. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much. You forgot about Akaton, very 13, the Kefix. And if, the uh, and if as Thurston, as you, as you get ready, uh, to remind people what these bars are, these are our hero point bars. They're not a health bar. It's not a health HP. Also, speak your microphone keeps activating. So Uli's like, blah, 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 a lot. He's oh constantly my. pointing at Kesher. <laughs> um, fucking God. Oh, my God. She's Sorry. afraid. Yeah. You just mean to bring up your... Uh, Noise yeah, gate yeah, thing yeah, in Discord. Anyway, but uh, the point, the bars basically are uh, hero point bar. Basically, they allow us to reroll a d20 result. Uh, it's basically all you need to know. But of course, every single time you give us uh, a point or so, uh, a little bit of that goes to Thurston's for his villain point bar, where he gets to reroll enemy rolls. <laughs> mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. balance that out a little bit. So you can help us if you'd like. Uh, it, this only works on Twitch, on YouTube. Unfortunately, it's not integrated yet. But on uh, but on Twitch, you can do exclamation point hero point. You'll get all the details on how to help us out. But with that, so sorry, Thurston. What's like, how screwed are we today? Uh, I mean, last we left off, you had defeated the 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 large, the big Kefik, uh in in the uh, the scrap car, the, the car yards that you had just traveled through. And yeah. as uh, you finished defeating the the, the large Kefik, there is like a, a brief, you know. Um, moment of, of of catching your breath and trying to take stock of the situation before you hear a from inside the car. You sort of well start a large bus that had been in this area. Is it safe to come out? Absolutely. Uh, Target neutralized. While while he is shouting, that can Kesher be uh, attempting to repair some of his damage? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Because I do have uh, the engineering kit, so I can actually try to fix him. That would just be an engineering check, right? Uh, uh, for, for the SRO, I mean, there's 
like you you can't just make engineering it's not like um pathfinder second edition where there's like a direct skill for that you can do some sort of like longer term to help help repair but not like an immediate thing that'd be like okay, over then hours then she'll be, be she'll it. be fucking like i don't know measuring with like a space tape measure all the parts she needs to replace on him then excellent 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 okay perfect um and yeah you you just hear this uh this voice uh it actually sort of respond and then you can see that the uh the android very uh very 13 uh, uh pops her head out and then comes out of the vehicle uh she has sort of this green hair and circuitry showing under you know semi translucent uh synthetic skin um and she sort of looks over to all of you hello Hi. Did you get Pleasure stuck to in meet there? you. Oh. oh. It is a, at this point, I'd like to remind everybody that Yuliel is unconscious on the ground. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't oh. help with that. I'm not a man. Oh, he'll be a fine. Adex drops to his knees and picks up early. My baby boy! No! <laughs> and he thinks he's dead. No, he's still twitching. Give me a second here. I got it. I got it. He shakes him violently. Fix him. I can, I can fix him. I can fix him. All right. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a quick mystic cure on my good friend Uli. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> Roll it up. Uh, so it's gonna be a D8 plus my wisdom modifier, which yeah. is three. D8. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, six hit points. Hey, that's half my health. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. <laughs> Wait, even when you leveled? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, no. That would be almost all of my health before I level. <laughs> <laughs> I he is very weak. Last session. He is very oh. weak. He is very shitty. Oh, I did all forget right. to mention, speaking of leveling, sorry, I completely forgot about it. I'm fast tracked to other stuff. We all leveled level two, by the way. I don't know if anybody wants, uh, if everyone wants to give a super brief thing of what they got uh, yeah, when I'll, they leveled. I'll, I'll give it a oh, quick yeah. go. Yeah, let's, um, let's just for order uh, on the screen, let's do left to right to make it a little bit easier on us. Okay, uh, go to, go I'll, know, I'll know if you want to give a super brief thing of what you uh, leveled up for level two for your characters. All right. Uh, I got two new spells, one level zero, one level one. Uh, I got some extra skill points in kind of my basic stuff, my life science, my medicine, my mysticism, etc. I gained the channel skill function. I can draw strange feelings. Uh, uh, e each connection has two skills associated with it. You get a plus one insight bonus with your connections associated skills. Yeah. yeah have a, and a, then a, I got plus one insight checks and bonus blah, blah. checks and all the other stuff. Yeah, you got it. Yep. And I got Mind Link. Uh, I can form a mental link with creatures that I touch, communicating information Ooh. rapidly through it. You can use Mind Link at will as a spell-like ability, though only once per day on any given individual. So I can talk into your head. Once. Nice. <laughs> what did Duran get? Duran took a second level active feat. Get him! As a move action, me and my allies gain plus one morale bonus to attack rolls against a chosen enemy within 60 feet that persists even if they leave that 60-foot initial engagement radius or out of line of sight and hearing. Duran also obtained the Star Singer archetype and got the Gift of Song, an active ability that gives allies plus one morale bonus to attack and plus two to damage just for the cost of it. one. One standard action, and that persists as long as I sustain it with an action on my turn. Hell yeah. What did Kesher get? Kesher uh, improved her skills in athletics, computers, engineering, perception, physical science, piloting, and her profession of salvaging. And took two ranks in bluff because uh, she needs to learn how to lie. And basically, her, for her special mechanic trick, uh, while she was fucking flailing around, she banged her wrist on a machine and her energy shield capability came back online. So now she has an energy shield. She can pop up. What did Uli get? Ulyu uh, decided to uh, have his brain grow even larger. He took Adhere, which is oh. a cantrip. He learned the supercharge weapon skill, and he obtained the harmful spells magic hack in addition to adding points to various skills. Nice. Adex uh, took the uh, had the archetype battle leader and took uh, the regroup shout. So basically, I can if someone crits or kills an enemy, I can go good job, buddy, and restore uh, some of your stamina. Pretty much for me, it's going to be three points. And then I took a um, 
Another feat called Laugh at Danger. So on hit point loss, I can react and people within 30 feet of me gain plus two AC until the next, till my end of my next turn. And of course I did various skill stuff like, you know, athletics, intimidation, stuff like that. Brought that up a little bit. And that's basically the summary for ADEX. Anyway, sorry, Thurston, interrupt there. Thought people wanted, wanted context. Yeah, no, 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 you're, you're all good, all good. So, yeah, Very 13 has come out. Um, Lissa, you've brought up Uliu uh, with your, your divine healing. Um, and as all of this happens, um, you can see that as Very comes out of the, the trailer, she is immediately, like, notices the, the dead body of the, the large Kefek, um, kind of, like, cocks her head, uh, looks over to you, like all of you, then, like, cocks her head the other way, looks at the corpse. Huh. That might be worth money, but it's highly radioactive. Yeah, it's it's kind of... I don't really know if it's worth selling. Besides, if anybody buys it, they're just going to get irradiated. Uh, yes. uh, I mean, it is... If it's valuable, we can have... Um, Adax carry it. I, I also have an energy shield now. It, it worked. I was flailing my arm around and I, I hit it on a piece of junk. That, that hurt, but... Uh, I have an energy shield now, and she will qu click the button, and she will be enveloped in a small screen of energy. Whoa! Is that, that very quickly how fizzles out. Works? What? It, 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 is that how engineering works? Is that the process? You just kind of hit things until no, it's happens? No, my my rig is um, damaged. I haven't got a chance to repair it. Oh, well, I got you. Well, that that's lovely, Kesher. It's a nice shield. Yes, it looks fantastic on you, darling. She, Just make uh, sure it doesn't go down in combat. She chitters and beams very quietly, but doesn't say a damn thing. <laughs> well, Adex, if that thing is worth a lot of money, we probably should make sure it's dead. Like, really dead. No problem! Adex will take out a knife and start stabbing it. Adex, I, crush okay. its skull, thank you. A am I still in Adex's other arm while this is happening? Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Hulky, I want to ask a quick question. Sure. Vari comes out and says it's worth a lot of money. Duran's immediate assessment is, hmm, that thing could be worth a lot of money. Adax, please destroy it. We're simply making sure that it's dead. I can't just sell it if it's alive and going to irradiate somebody. We need more I'm robot. pretty sure it's dead. And if we can't no, we salvage it, we gotta make sure nobody else can. Exactly! It's the laws of engagement. Why the fuck would we let somebody else make <laughs> money off of it if we can't? I claim Come salvage! <laughs> Squatter's rights! Uh, Adex will lift up Uli and look at him and go like, My baby boy, are you okay? I am not the baby, and I am not your baby boy, and I am okay, and also I have to ask a question now. Can I please be let down on from your height? Sure thing! He just lets you go and lets you drop. All right, Uli will Cape will flutter as he falls to the ground, and he will immediately stand back up before waddling over to Vary, um, completely ignoring the uh, murdering death corpse. And then he will walk up to Vary, he will get up very close, and then he will raise his hand. We look Thurston. around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. He goes up to Vary, so yes, to Thurston. Yeah, well, he's okay. He goes up to very, very standing there looking down. Julio raises his hand. Yes. Hello, are you very 13, the android that was sent here also? Uh, yes, that's that's me. Yes, how, how did you know? Because I am a, a benevolent alien, and also I wish to know of the object that you have come here to see, because we have also interest in retrieving the object with you. Well, I I can't talk about it here. There there might be be drones or people listening. We should we should get back to the Kefik Depot. I agree. Very Let's well. We will go in being and doing this. Very good. Okay. I know there's drones here because there's there's one that was in the trailer with me. Uh, I'm going to go into the trailer and start looking for things to take. Uh, yeah, sure. There is a like a very large object in here. Um, it looks like it's it looks like it's a child size like pile of scrap that's in the back of the trailer. Um, can you give me an engineering check? Really? I would love to give you an engineering. 
check. Yeah. That is a 24. Yeah, you recognize this. This is a junk drone. Um, so this is a small remote drone that you can use to help sort through rubbish. It's basically like a like a stealth drone that a mechanic would use, except it has like claws and manipulator arms. Um, you can like basically use a remote control to activate this thing, uh, but all it mostly is good for is holding stuff. And when it's in a junkyard, it can kind of stay hidden. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, can I use my holographic interface to try and activate it? Um, like with your engineering check, you can go up and you can tell it can be active. It's got a battery in it right now, but as you check the battery, you can tell that the, the battery itself is dead. So looks like that this thing uh, could take a normal size battery, so about 20 charges, um, which would let it last for about a minute of charge, so like 20 minutes of active use, but the battery in it's currently just dead. I see. I'm going to uh, look over at Kesher, um, and I'm just going to say, Cash out, cash out, cash out, cash out, cash out, cash out. Yes. We have a drone in here that you might want to have on you. Oh, okay. Sure. And she'll go into the trailer to work on it. Yeah, you don't even have to really work on it. It's a matter of you just need to get this thing back to like a settlement and recharge its battery or replace its battery. You can Absolutely. like hold it. It's only like one bulk worth of uh, weight. She'll hold it then, okay. whatever the drone is. I have dragged it onto your inventory. Ba 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 ba. Yep. Well, sh should we get going back to the Kefik depot? Absolutely. We'll escort you back. Come on, squad. Uh, Adex, if you eh? carry the uh, that. I'm just oh. trying to point back at the corpse that was previously labeled as being valuable that we have ignored. Yeah, Adex will uh will lift it up over his shoulders, and uh will stay a, a good ways away from the party from behind, and uh he'll look over at Lissa. Lissa, take point. All right, the ten hut. While we walk, can I just roll a quick life science to see what would be valuable about this thing? Yeah, sure. Okie dokie. It's all the parts that were stabbed. That is no a reason. 16. Yeah, all of, the, <laughs> all of the parts, actually, that were stabbed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you can tell that, like, the, the carapace of this um, still has, has value. In fact, probably the carapace on any of the Kefix here could, could have some small value to them because, you know, pe people, people do still mine some of the minerals and, and different um, items that come here. Uh, the carapaces are novelties so on like the lesser ones. It's probably like, I eh, might make like 25 credits, but off of off of this one, which has some like raw Thesterin in it, which is this mineral on Akaton, uh, you can tell this thing would probably sell for about 100 credits just to someone who's interested in like mineral composition. But the problem with it is, is you'd have to find someone who would be willing to uh, buy a piece of radioactive carapace that basically means you might need a successful diplomacy check in like a settlement to sell this thing oh why don't we quickly sell off this thing so we can get back to that business yes very good very good very good where does that where would that money put us in in um consideration of our various debts not far. Zero point <laughs> zero zero one two. Six. About to say, yeah. <laughs> considering, the problem. considering a million was floated around, and this might get you a hundred and fifty. Um, hey, number one hundred is a description the Glamazon, so I think we're good. Speaker, I need no. you to understand something. Where this is not paying back on our debts, this is all right. Now we have money that we can use to buy ammo because we have none. Yes. This this is we can we can get a burger. I'm I'm excited for our new radioactive burger money meal ticket. <laughs> of course. Okay, so it's all part of the plan. Who's who, it's Duran is the face, correct? That he is. Yes. Then I suppose we will have to. Then I suppose we'll have to. What? So do we want to divvy this up and tackle multiple things at once, or are we all going to the same place every single time? Uh, I we think should... we're all staying together. Yeah, let's let's stick together. Spotted the Moss Isley circle in the map. I'm pinging slightly to the north where you yeah. want to center. Ooh. 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 Ah. Ah. I see it. I see it. Okay. And the reason I suggested splitting up was not because we're like going into obviously dangerous territories because we can get more done that way. Yeah, I agree. 
All right, Adex will uh, begin to look around. Who wants to assist Adex on selling this thing? Oh, we need Duran. Uh, yes, Duran will assist. Absolutely yeah. awesome. Once we make Duran, our way to that. give give me a diplomacy check. <laughs> Ke of Kesher course. goes up to Duran and says, "Please don't let them try to sell it." No, I don't think he knows the the implicit value of something like this. I was gonna punch him till they gave me money. That's please. Don't oh let dear. Him do that. Uh, oh, hey, but you have a hero point. Can I? Is there a way for me to assist Duran with my potential, with my intimidation, to try and get more Just, money for this no, corpse? Don't intimidate them. I mean, you can, but if it goes bad, it will go bad. All right. Please. Excellent. Please I, I, no. How's this going down a little bit? Like Duran goes up and goes like, "Bye, corpse." Yes. Uh, hello, hello. I I have an exciting business opportunity for you. See, I am coming to the possession of a wonderful radioactive corpse. Now, you might be thinking, oh, what am I going to do with this radioactive corpse? Well, let me tell you. Uh, Adex, throw the corpse on the counter, please. Goosh. What's on the counter? Er, this is a McWendell King. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I know it is, and I want a burger right now. Now, if you would be so kind as to take this off our hands and to give us the requisite amount of credits so that we may buy one, two, three, four, four McRendo King mega burgers and one, looking over at Yulia with kind of a concerned grimace, one little invader's meal. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm getting a bit dizzy with this thing. Um, Duran, you still have your environmental protections on your armor up, so they're, they're protecting you. Uh, the McWendell King staff member does not. Is he and dissolving? It's like you, can see, you can see, like, sweat <laughs> forming on his brow. Like, I don't feel so good. Are we oh, actually... Yes, you're not feeling good because of the implicit deal that you're missing, idiot. Now, please... You're losing out on a deal of a lifetime. <laughs> give me the intimidate. Give me the intimidate <laughs> check. Give me the intimidate check because it's very important. Like, hey, Thurston, <laughs> while they're failing at selling this radioactive corpse, what is what is everyone else doing? Oh, we'll find out once yeah, we're, we're done getting this. there. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah, yeah. You're the one spurring me forward, Mister. Yeah, yeah you got to do it the right time. I rolled a twenty-one intimidate. As Adax is like, you're gonna buy this thing right now, or else you're gonna melt to death. Uh, <laughs> okay, how about I give you a deal on the burgers and then I'll give you some credits. Uh, I need to check with my manager one second. No, you don't need to check with your manager. You <laughs> just need to take it. Come right on, now. you're missing out. And add a, right, and add a, add a little, add this, <laughs> add a little add invader's credit. meal for my friends. Okay, I have 125 credits. We'll put this in the front. It glows. Kids love glowing things. They sure do. Make sure they all yes, jump they on it. Them? Okay. I would like to announce uh, that uh, we huh. do not condone uh, children being radiated to death on the show. It goes without uh, saying. Su such sweet memories. All right, so I assume we leave with 120 credits in a, in, in a couple of like invader of meals. Bags. Like, yeah, like, like you've got like eight McDonald's-esque bags oh, coming awesome. out. <laughs> I high-five awesome. Duran and we can scene switch. Uh, you you uh, managed to make your way uh, back to Adventures in Junk located right here uh, as you sort of enter that kind of like congested central portion of the Kefik Depot. Uh, as you do, very 13, as well as um, your your fellow party members, Uliu, um, Kesher, and Lissa, as well as the, uh, the Soki Riddle are all uh, present. We brought burgers! Was real kind to of you too, so you got it offloaded the corpse. Adex hands it to Duran so he can distribute the burgers. Yes, we managed to get rid of the horrible irradiated corpse and we got meals, although we could have done better. Barring the circumstances, this is probably the nicest cuisine we're going to get in this planet, so Duran will gingerly walk over to each of the party members in their heels <laughs> and give out their bags of food, and then of course go to you, Leo, and give him the little invader's meal. Yay! I will open up my little invader's meal and I'm going to take out my little toy tripod. Roll me a d4 to see what toy it is. Okay, yeah! that's, that's awesome. It's a three. It's the flying saucer toy. 
Yes, I have wanted this one. And I'm going to just take it. Uh, and while I'm eating this burger, like just huge creepy eyes, just gonna have it zooming around. And occasionally I, yeah. anyone that comes within a certain radius will just hear telekinetically, pew, pew. <laughs> pew, pew. Oh, he's so sweet when he does that. He's like a little child, but almost like a dog. A little bit of both. I love it. A dog child? A dog child. I think I should keep him with me. Ah, everyone, we will uh, take hostages now. Ha ah, fire on them now. Ha 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 Oh, it's so sweet. I love <laughs> it. What a darling little invader he is. Ain't he just? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna unhinge the jaw, just like fully open, put the snake whole burger mouth. in. Yeah, just the <laughs> snake mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> wow, that is mm, that is a little disturbing, but yeah, to each their own, I suppose. Uh, your sucks. jaw don't unhinge. Chewing is really overrated. It's it's so much effort. You know, you would not be the first person who asked me that, and you certainly won't be the last. <laughs> it's through a lot when you're traveling. <laughs> as, you're, as you're fucking saying that, Lissa, you notice that Kesher is doing literally nothing but chewing because her mouth is so small. No. It's all, it is all she can do. She has to eat so slowly. It's like, an, it's like a centipede eating a very large hamburger. Does Kesher have, like, little pseudopods on her mouth that, like, pull in the food to her mandibles? It's it's the little it's the little tendrils, but her mouth is just so small that it's kind of like she has to take like the tiniest like literal like dime sized bites every time. Like, it doesn't exactly stretch; it's a carapace. Hold on, the the, the crab eating videos that delight me so much. Crab eating, <laughs> crab eating a potato chip. <laughs> yes, this is wonderful. <laughs> All right, squad. It's like. Seems we got our uh, got our target back to here. What's our current objective? Well, we we're supposed to return him. Burger is still in hand. Kesher is going to turn towards the 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 <laughs> towards Vari and be like, "Right, um, what were we doing again?" Well. We have been told also that they have an object that we need to know about also. Right, an object. What What was the object you said you wanted to talk when we were back in uh, a depot? Yeah, uh, they're very uh, 13, who is also munching on a burger along with a uh, riddle. Um, take, takes a brief moment, puts the food down, nods slightly. First of all, let me thank you once again for rescuing me. I knew I chose correctly when I picked Riddle's agency to help me in the task. Riddle, like, you know, ah, pulls it there, like, collar a bit, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, but then, then of course, begins to interrupt, uh, just as very, like, waves waves her down. No, no, don't be modest. Your employees are to be commended for, for, for what they did, and you and your management. Riddle's like, yeah, I'm a manager. I, I shared some of this with Riddle, but I think you should all know how I came to come to Akaton. As you may know, sometimes when we androids die, our mortal shells become home to a new soul. This is especially true if androids choose to relinquish their life, but occurs if the body is relatively intact. This was the case for one of my progenitors, Very 8. They were an engineer aboard a scientific research vessel called the Stellar Flare in the years shortly before the Gap. The crew engaged in experiments to develop a new source of power drawn from the then recently discovered drift that the hyperspace dimension they believe that technology similar to that of drift engines could provide energy for all without the need of batteries unfortunately their research ended abruptly when an accident caused them to crash right here on akaton very 13 then smiles a bit so, don't you see, if, if we can salvage some of the technology from the Stellar Flare, we might be able to restart that research. It could change the galaxy. Yes, galaxy. it could. <laughs> Camera, like, zooms in on Uli's face. Everything around it begins to darken. <laughs> okay. 
the I'm glad you're the excited. The toy suddenly makes like a little laser sound, like pew, pew. <laughs> Yes, yeah. <laughs> you hear it, there's just like, like slowly pans in, there's like flames slowly growing off the side. You hear vaguely the background screams and lasers. <laughs> Speaker, I leave this to your discretion. Is the top of Yuli's head soft or hard? Um, it kind of really depends on if it's funny. Uh, I imagine that it was it was hard, but uh, he's he's got like he's got soft skin. I have to uh, imagine uh, you're uh, you're a stress toy. Uh, I'm only asking because Kesher is going to uh, showing a little bit of spine for a moment. Is, is going to immediately press one of her fingers on his forehead and leave a small indentation. Please stop Ow. that. Oh yeah. But don't do that again. You're doing that again to me. It's uh not allowed. Okay. Sure. Just <laughs> don't do that, please. Oh yeah. <laughs> Turan listening to Yuliu's tactile telepathic communications, just with stars in their eyes. Just oh, it's so sweet. I I adore this little thing. This thing. It's about to turn Uliu into a purse dog. <laughs> you really a bad kid, purse dog. We're just going through the numbers. We're, we're is, every every session, there will be a new diminutive <laughs> thing that Yuliel is. <laughs> it's true. He's my Blorbo, and I get to choose the adjective for the player character. It's like Mac and me, but we're going to put Ke push Kesher off the cliff in the wheelchair. Thank God. <laughs> Do you happen to know of the last known location of the vessel that is known as the Stellar Flare? Uh, very 13 kind of cocks her head slightly. I get some memories from Fairy 8's lifetime. It's a rare situation that happens with some androids. I remember finding an escape pod when the ship was going down and landing here on Akaton. Uh, they then abandoned it, believing the vessel lost. I when I came here and off those memories, I I traced the signal to the Kefik Depot and then the car yards, but that was just where my escape pod was. But I did manage to get some of the transponder codes before the Kefiks noticed me and I took shelter in that truck. I'd have to somehow trace these codes to the starship because the Stellar Flare's transponder must have been destroyed or lost power. But... I think it's still broadcasting, so we should be able to find it with a few hours of work. I could use some engineering assistance on this if any of you are skilled in those fields. Kesher stands upright and beams. Uh, I can do that. Uh, um, for a small fee, but yes, I can do that. Well, um, R Riddle, did you, did you, uh, oh, yeah, 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 I, I, I got y'all, and, and Riddle, like, comes over, uh, with a cred stick in, like, several cred sticks, which she hands out to each of you. Oh, my dad. Each, oh. each of them, each stick has 500 credits, so <gasps> each of you get 500 credits. Yippee! Ooh, we're, rich. 500? We're, we're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. Yes, yes, I know that we're all rich in something like friendship, but back to the mission at hand. Okay. And then, then Riddle like goes to the uh, to to the, the the mini fridge, and then she pulls uh, out like the, the freezer section, which you realize has some some vials in it, and she pulls out several vials, five in fact, and she goes to each of you and passes each of you a vial. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. He uh, next inspects it. Um. Yeah. What is this? I. I. It's some healing juice. Oh. Okay. Healing juice. Okay. Healing uh, juice. So I, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna look over this healing juice. I'm a healer. I know medicine. Yeah. What's it? Hey, what, what, what's Adex looks at it. Goes, Give me oh, medicine. I used to know a brave medic who carried a whole bunch of these. He kind of like wipes a fake tear from his helmet. <laughs> he drowned in it. Sun plays. <laughs> Jeez. Um, uh, yeah. So, um, Lissa, as you you go to identify, you identify this as a Mark One serum of healing. Um, so this is an item that you can just imbibe, and it restores uh, hit points to you. So in this case, um, 
the the exact amount of hit points I think is just listed uh, in the in the item that I put on your feet. But yeah. Oh. Well, it's it's it sure is healing juice. Uh, what flavor did you get? Well, cherry. Ch- cherry is the only the only kind of flavor you can get. Kesher oh, holds well, up I the serum. Plants have strawberry. Kesher holds up the serum and notes that it is blue. Our cherry is blue. Blue cherry. What? Yeah, it's just, just like a blue raspberry. With it. A Bordagon five. They are. They I all hate terrestrial fruits so much. A Bordagon five. The the cherries are blue. Also, if you alert, also if you uh, rattle them a bit too hard, put fire to them, they explode. That's how I lost my squad members. Oh. Well, these won't explode, I promise. Oh, good. Yeah, isn't it? How many, how, with how many times that he said he's lost his squad members to something, Kesher is going to start raising the crab equivalent of an eyebrow. <laughs> there, look, there were a lot of squads. A lot of people died in the swarm. A lot of uh, Swarm? <laughs> where? He hears the voice. <laughs> she, she's immediately thinking that it's very curious that he's lost so many squads and he's the only one coming back. It sounds very suspicious. Very curious indeed. He's just a sure, good yeah. soldier. <laughs> he, he wonder, she wonder, She wonders if this is in fact the definition of a squad and if he's going to be the only one leaving it. You're my 427th squad. <laughs> the ultimate fucking plot twist would be if Adex <laughs> was a serial killer. <laughs> so he was, and he was just murdering every single squad I'm actually, mate. I'm actually a medal of honor chaser I just never got it so if there's no witnesses <laughs> to yeah, my failures exactly. nobody else can get it Yeah. the real brain worms were the ones in my party all the way ah. <laughs> ah. they're all bugs that's why they're I killed bugs. them all bugs on brain. that Chipper note. Um, <laughs> this would be the point in the adventure where you actually level up because you get a night nice rest, so you can now restore yourselves back to full. Um, between your magic and abilities, like you, you can you can heal yourselves back to full. You get full stamina. Your resolve uh, recovers, and you get all of your spell casting back. Yeah, your fucking fixes Yay. all the holes in eight x. Oh, I gotta put my hit points to full. Yeah, you're just welding yes. me together. She, she also offers the same to fucking Var, even though it's pretty obvious she wasn't wounded at all. She's just happy to be of help. Yeah, and and and, and very very st- spends the night uh, up working at a at a computer terminal while um while Riddle is kind of sitting there being fair fairly chipper, dozing in and out occasionally. As uh as we come to to the morning um. The, the android greets all of you as you kind of get up, have some some breakfast coffee or, you know, lubricating oil in the case of Adex, I guess. Um, and and very, very nods. I'm glad you've decided my causes of interest. I, I've i nevertheless worked all night examining the Stellar Flares transponder signal, and I even tried sending a message to the starship, but no reply. I, I believe we can pinpoint its location with reasonable accuracy if uh, some of you could, could could give me a bit of a hand this morning. Okay. What 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 specifically are we looking at? So what you'll need to do here is either a computers or a engineering check. Well, what a surprise. Both of mine are... Uh, actually, no, my computers is the one that is better because it is at a plus 11. Well, then give me a computers check. And anyone can aid another uh, here. So up to two of you can aid if you have uh, computers or engineering. Um, spe- uh, actually, sorry, the aid would specifically be computers. So if you uh, if you aid me, if anyone is aiding me, I get a plus two instead of a plus one if you help. Um, okay. How is how good are you at computers? Uh, my computers is plus eleven. Okay. Yeah. Great. I'll aid you then. Okay. So that'll put me at a plus thirteen well, if you succeed. Yeah. Yeah, if he succeeds. So 20. you'll have to make a check for, uh, for yeah, Uliu succeeds, and then so Kesher be, can make the, the check. Whoever, whoever rolls go. the highest, I give them a gold star. Holy Toledo, 32. Yeah, wow. Wow. Oh, Very nice. Oh. All right. Um, uh, so with this, you you have no problems. In fact, um you, do you think this would should have taken like an hour? You do it in ten minutes, Kesher. Uh, Uliu giving some some pointers, um, but but mostly you just you just roll through this on your own, um, and you successfully nav- uh, triangulate the cellar flare's location. 
um, Riddle comes over, providing a bit of a map of, of the region and comparing the data. Uh, the Stellar Flare's wreckage lies in the middle of some of the oldest starship frames that are in the region. Something that's marked on a map of, uh, on Riddle's map as the outer junk fields. At this point, Riddle kind of like steps back, like raises up her hands and waves them. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm sorry, Barry, but the outer junk fields, death trap. That happened since a bunch of space goblins and Akeshtis moved in last year. Turn the place into a war zone. Goblins and Akeshtis each think they should be in charge. Neither side's going to budge. They're constantly trying to kill each other. Uh, you'd think one of them gained the upper hand, but they're all a bunch of tenacious... So, okay, sorry, sorry. It's, it's just too dangerous. Uh, death, death field? Kesher's, like, presumably standing at the computer while Yuli is standing on it with a pair of metal prongs functioning as the, uh, the antenna. Yeah, death you're... Death field? You... Is it haunted? Oh, oh, nonsense, Riddle and Very 13 pops in. You've got some of the bravest and most clever guides right here. Points to all of you. Eh. I don't know about brave. I can be trusted, do it. Well, battlefields are usually a place of a lot of paranormal activity. Could we go at night? Can we, and can, can I we, record I, it? I had a fucking can pause that mode. one. Can, can we hard mode this? Yes, 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 you can. <laughs> Kesher holds her hand up. I have night vision. Me he too. has night vision. So does he. Well, okay, we don't have to go at night, but maybe after we do our thing here, maybe we could go back at night and I could I could get some, some EVP recordings. EVP. Are you phasmophobia phobing me? Right? Is that is that what you're about to do here? Is that is that what's happening here? No. You know, EVPs are more things than just phasmophobia. <laughs> yeah. Jon Jonathan anything. Flounce, are you here? Jonathan Flounce, are you going to kill us? Jonathan Flounce, you stink. How how old are you? Front door I, slams shut. My favorite thing to do in that game is to run around yelling at the ghost because they're late on rent. And, and provoking them to come out. It is a beautiful thing, isn't it? <laughs> like, like, you're late on your rent payments, kong, 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 and then they kill me. <laughs> That's usually uh, how renting and landlords work anyway, so it's pretty accurate. <laughs> Guru -la -guru. <laughs> all right, so, so yeah, um, so very having having detailed all of this um, and, and Riddle being like, no, nah, it's the death field. Uh, what, what are your all thoughts on this? Uh, Kesher is just sort of like reclining in, or like collapsing into her seat in fear again. Well, again, Yulio is probably standing on top of the what is he doing with the fucking like metal prongs on the computer? Yeah, I imagine that uh, Kesher is at the computer and Yulio is like his eyes are at the level of the desk and his hands are like kind of just trying to slap onto keys and, and pull knobs and move the mouse and all <laughs> of that. He has control over the numpad. Yeah, he's like he's like <laughs> on his tippy toes. Um, but now, now he's back looking at Vary and he is going to take a look at everyone. It is of incredibly importance that we are able to acquire this material because of how good and useful it will be. <laughs> so we shall do that. And uh, goblins are just a problem that we will solve with uh, the guns and powers and the incredible powers and guns. Maybe we could talk them down. What? Okay. I don't know. I mean, we couldn't hurt, but... Probably not, if they sound like they're at each other's throats all the time. Um, well, there's definitely hazard pay involved in this, Very 13 adds in. I accept the mission! He gets up. All right, well... Okay, extra pay. That answers that. I have a question. Yes? How would we be able to transfer the device from the crashed ship Well, first we'll have to secure it. Yeah? Are we going to wait for transport, like a, an aerial vehicle, or do we need to bring a truck there? Or is it small enough for us to carry? 
Very 13 kind of pauses. It depends on the state. I mean, for now, this should just be a scouting mission to figure out if it's there and accessible. Got it. Yes, but if we can extract it as well, it will be useful to know. Also, can you draw a picture of it? And I hand her a pen and a pen and a pen and a pad. I don't remember it. Well, it seems that's something we got to find out, little buddy. He pats Uli's squishy head and he's like, all right. Well, it seems to me we got the location, uh, things to kind of look out for, targets we got to be careful of. Sounds to me we need to lock and load. Let's go in and get some ammo, get any supplies we need, and let's head out. This is a very good idea, I agree. All right. Well, we can definitely do that. And could I get some recorded? You know what? I'll bring that up again later. It's okay. He puts a he puts a robot hand on Alyssa's shoulders. We'll make a lot of ghosts for you to interview tonight. I guess I'll That's be. That's terrifying, but thank you for the energy. I can also let you talk to the ghost in my head. Anyway. What? No, that's <laughs> no. Plus, you have some ghosts on that shell of yours, Adex? Oh, well, <laughs> technically my family's a ghost. Hands Lissa his USB drive. You could you could keep them company if you can use your talking device to them. I'm sure they would love a conversation other than me. Holy shit. I mean, yeah, uh, sure. This is very interesting. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna jot that down on my little pad uh, as just like new episode idea. Interviewing cyborg ghosts? Question mark. A dead family <laughs> converted <laughs> into a computerized ghost form. I like that the podcast would just be called the Dead Family episode. <laughs> like, that would be the name of it. Did Number fifteen. Adex is dead family. The Dead Family episode, sponsored by Skillshare. <laughs> wow. Skillshare. <laughs> Brought to you um. by Audible. Um, Riddle Riddle hops up and is like, yeah, and uh, just just watch out for the space goblins and the Akashtis. Don't let them eat you. I got it. Uh, I assume right. we just want to, like, refresh our ammo and stuff and then just head out. Yeah, I, I, mean, I yeah. need to buy some more batteries. How much do they cost? Because I'm, I'm running low on yeah. ammo. Just to save a shopping episode, we just want to. No, just I know. I'm just, I'm just asking how much it costs. That's all. Uh, allow me to pull up the website and take a peek. Um, I don't remember which specifically. This well, let me let me pull up the core rulebook and take a look for it. Uh, standard battery, sixty credits. Terrific. Yeah. Do the batteries recharge? Uh, yeah, like if you're in a if you're in a settlement, it's assumed you you have access to like a recharging station, oh, okay. which you have Jeez, here. I didn't so. know that. Ah. There we go. Oh. You just plug your gun on the wall. Exactly. It's it's more like it's 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 easier when you go with like some of Starfinder First Edition's assumptions. Like everyone has a starship, so. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, uh, so with that, you can all prep, per make your, your necessary purchases, refill your ammo, no no worries there, and then you can make your way off to the outer junk fields. Um, they are the furthest collection of crashed starships and other debris outside the Kefic Depot. Um, are are you, any of you taking any specific special uh, precautions, or are you just making your way out there now? Uh, we're expecting Kefics again. Uh, Not in this. Uh, the thing that you were told to worry about was space goblins and Akeshtis. Keshtis. Okay, I thought it was Kefix. My apologies. No, what would I know about Akeshtis? Uh, give me a give me a life science check. You got it. Yeah, you're on that one, dude. I ain't got no life science. I am twenty two. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's enough for you uh, to know that Akeshtis are red, scaly, lizard-like humanoids that are native to Akaton. Uh, they have a rather tumultuous life cycle. Uh, young Akeshtis, who don't mate, transform into Riveners. Uh, they then lose their ability to reason while radically increasing in size and muscle mass. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah. Yeah. Um... You can, like, ask anything. Like, like you can probably ask me two questions on Akeshtis. Um, sure. Uh, do they frequently form gangs? Uh, they, they like will form into units, but they're fairly independent once, once they do, uh, get into, into that sort of, you know, group. So it'll be like, 
all I really care about if you're part of the of the gang is if you help us fight. Otherwise, you're kind of allowed to do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, last thing, uh, I guess my second question. Um, do they have any known or exploitable weaknesses? Um, yeah. So there, there are a couple of things with them. Um, first and foremost, as I'm pulling them up, one sec. I put a Akashi art on the stream for folks. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, so um, you would know that generally, like, it depends because they're like a species, right? They're like humans. So, like, what weaknesses do humans have? Um, some of them aren't necessarily, like, super fast. Um, you would, however, know one of their, like, one of their more notable defenses rather than a weakness is that they can squirt blood from their eyes. That's pretty brutal. Uh, and if they do it, they basically can like blind targets or like hairy targets by squirting out blood from their eyes. That's like a natural defense mechanism. God, that's mm -hmm. scary. Yeah. I see. So it's just blood. It's not um, like acid. No, no, it's just blood. It like causes issues. That's about it. Like it doesn't hurt you or anything like that. It's just it's in pocket sand. Ex yes, except blood from their eyes. Prepare for the lizard people to be able and willing to bleed from their eyes to get blood into your eyes, okay? That's scary. Adex no. taps on Uli's screen. You're like, yeah, that's pretty intimidating, but what else you, what do you got in there about the gobbles? The, the gobbles? The gobbles. The go gobbles. Oh, yes, them as well. Good, very good. I'm going to take a look at uh, what I know about goblins. Sure, space goblins. Give me a... Uh... Yes, life science. Nat 20! I know a lot about goblins. goblins. Yeah, um, space goblins are small, bulbous-headed, green-skinned humanoids that are instinctive tinkerers that craft weapons and other equipment. They have dark vision. Um, and the thing that is, like, the primary point that you would know about space goblins is... They um, they are notorious for being able to devise objects that like break the laws of physics in many cases, but they only work once. It's very notable that like goblins will oftentimes be like, oh, yeah, I can make a thing that can turn the air into to acid, um, but it only works once and then they can never reproduce it after building the first one. That sounds really infuriating yes i would be really stressed out if i was a goblin yes um i will convey all of this information um that goblins are goblins and goblins do goblin things fascinating wow that's... is it possible that they might also be goblins yes it is certain that we will have to deal with little green men We'll definitely do our best here, gang. Uh, at this point, I assume we've been gathering intelligence and we've been walking forward. Um, yeah. Yep. So so you're making your way towards the outer junk fields, which uh, there's a couple rules that you've been informed of. First of all, you're not allowed to take any kind of air or hover vehicles uh, on the path, so it's best just to walk. Um, there's We're like a... Again. Yeah, the, the reason that there's no air or hover vehicles is because there's a standing ban on getting them too close because everyone in the settlement is worried about the goblins or Akeshtis getting their hands on a hover vehicle um, and what that could lead to. Um, so you have to go through like a safe section of rubbish outside the Kefik Depot. Um, Riddle gives you a bit of information like you'll you'll know you get there when um, you reach the, the Tower of Refrigerators. But otherwise, you have about an hour to walk through some of the, the rust district, um, various landmarks along the way, like a lake of disposable plastic containers, panes of transparent aluminum. And you find a tunnel that is full of outdated electronic games, which I will leave to your imagination. I'm going to start just shoveling a handful of those into my backpack. Oh, my God. She's a fan of Tiger Electronics. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. These are LJN. Starts burning them. E.T. Okay. This is where E.T. ended up. No. Oh, my God. Trail. We found the landfill. <laughs> we did. We'll be so rich. We're rich. We're rich. <laughs> How curious. This little device here 
It appears to be some kind of handheld entertainment device, but the only two buttons on it say Doug and Faster. <laughs> Kesher's picking up a small cartridge and looking at it and says, What is... Super Noah's Ark 3D. <laughs> oh, it's a classic. Um, Yulia will procure his, the most valuable thing in the entire uh, 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 scrap, a copy of M. Dickey's Wrestling Revolution, and uh, he will put it with his other ones back in the starship. <laughs> okay. He, he picks up a cartridge and, he, and Adex pauses for a moment. He looks down at it, and it's a little robot man little robot man with some glowing eyes with the title of it's a bit scratch it says something arms but he looks at it and he nods and he puts it away Horror. it is a shame they did not have space invaders <laughs> that would be too oh, on the yes. nose I agree <laughs> there are too many games here we have to go on and too many right. space invaders well, I, I, li I like to collect little things like that I'm, I'm gonna take like a Tupperware from the lake of them over there and I'm gonna just like start scooping up some cartridges and put it in my backpack it is a bit <laughs> strange don't you think that most of these are Terran make super Probably. turbo crab puncher what's a Terran three? yeah what's that I don't I don't I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's just earth or they have some kind of like Who? funny term for it what is this? Okay, Star okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'll I'll answer your question. Crash course, man. Actually, uh, Earth exists in the Pathfinder, Pathfinder and mm. Starfinder universe, uh, but is in a different galaxy, so is relatively like, not not uh, not known. There is there is a Pathfinder adventure path where you go to um, Zaris, Russia, and fight Rasputin. Um, which <laughs> what? Yes, yeah, there's so That's it, it th there is a there is a canonical Pathfinder adventure path that takes you to Earth that identifies a like chronological lineup of what year it is in Earth and what year it is in Pathfinder, um, and that is a thing. So what are Excellent. we playing that? I, I mean, it's it's, it's, it's <laughs> it is it's a, a winter great... themed adventure, so we would have to plan that up. Maybe next year we'll do a Christmas special where we oh, that it. It. <laughs> No. It is... It is a it is a winter themed, um, like travel the multi slash universe adventure because each adventure has you traveling to a different location after taking over Baba Yaga's hut. Got it. So an Arbor Day game. I <laughs> I oh. desperately want the same party to play that adventure. <laughs> how, Please. How, how about this? If you guys want to do it, chat. <laughs> If uh, we will, we'll have to make an incentive. If we get to like, if we get a lot of support, we'll god. consider it. How's that sound? Oh my god! It's a Pathfinder first edition. edition. Nope. Oh, oh, edition. No. Oh no, no, we might want to rethink this. How about you? How about this? How about this? If we get like a whole bunch of support on Patreon or something, like we get mm -hmm. like I don't know. I think we're like, don't make uh, up numbers right off the yeah, 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 yeah. Let's focus on this. Play the let's, game. How about this? Yeah, we get a lot of it. We'll no, let's play the it. game. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> if we get a lot of numbers on our various networks, we will make Pies will remaster it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hey. We'll put that to the top of yeah, the priority I'll list. I'll message Jimmy. Be like, hey man, I got a deal for you. <laughs> <laughs> I have posted the picture of the uh, the cover art for that adventure oh. into oh, uh, our our Discord. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll put it up here. Hold up, there you go, chat. It's a bit. You must die. There he is. <laughs> There's the guy. He's right there. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. Know, watch out, Adex. He has Bostruzoku's hockey. Ah. You don't want to get too close to him. I'll bring him up. All right, good bit, streamers. Uh. Let's move on. The guy. Uh, yeah. Okay. So does that answer your question, Duran, of, of what what Earth's status is? Yes. Good, good answer. Excellent. Excellent. Wow. Excellent. These are certainly video games. I can't believe we're seeing all of these video games. Wow. I love that. Uh, here's yours, love Duran. That. He holds up yours of Duran's magical adventure. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, I thought we got rid of all of those. Uh, oh. Duran will <laughs> will try and grab it out of Adex's hand as fast as he can. Adex keeps his hands up. Oh, uh, it, it, it could have been so good. 
<laughs> just it, so, so did did Jaron get it or is Adex just no? He just keeps it out of reach. Adex puts it in his mouth and extracts no. the ROM and hands it back. Adex, I'm going to ask you very nicely to purge that from your data banks. What? We got a mission. Adex keeps going. And with that, Adex passes by the refrigerator obelisk. Um, oh. Realizing that at this point, you're kind of on your own for directions. So um, to keep you all on track, who wants to make a survival check? Me. All right, let me see if survival. I've got that. Yeah, let's see who took survival. No. I got it. I, I do volunteer it. Lissa. Yay. Okay. Kesher it. breaks down to her knees and goes, I can't survive here. <laughs> can't survive anywhere. Stop complaining. Uh, I got a 23. Okay, perfect. Um, you are able to um, to, to, to make to, to, to make your, your way forward. Um, let's see here. Okay. You find yourselves making your way through the outer junk fields. Um, at this point, you, you come to a location where there are swaths of trash that have been pushed away um, that look to reveal like a red pitted uh, section of earth with tiny bits of plastic floating in a pools of like filthy standing water um but there's like a dry um there's like a dry hole 10 feet in diameter in the section of this area if you've got life science you can make a check well i, I will life. do just that yeah wow 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 not 20 oh. Again, damn! We're not gonna get them get this all out back. early. That's right. Um, okay, so yeah, so as you're um, as as you're 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 approaching this area, uh, Uli, um, you uh, you take note of the the moisture here, and it's it's interesting because when you when you take note of like the the, the moisture that's in this area, you know that this planet does not like have a lot of areas with moisture so this is probably some kind of collecting area like it's very rare that there'd be like a natural collection area but hey this is it um so this would probably be like a good place for insects and stuff to breed like mosquitoes and whatnot or other creatures to come by and you know take a step for take a stop for a drink so is there any uh, immediate overlap I could imagine between the uh, typical biological habits of either goblins or our lizard friends? Oh, absolutely. Like, you know, every, everyone needs some water. But this area that you're passing through is, like, notable because there's, like, standing, like, puddles of water here. Um, but, Lissa, you're, you're able to direct um, folks here. Um, but what do you, like, you can see there's this pit um, up ahead. It sort of, like, drops... Uh, at least 10 feet because you know the angle of when you're approaching it it's maybe hmm, like 20 feet away from you with 8x at the front and lissa at the front hmm. all right no what you're gonna do uh no you say your thing no you say your thing no you go first no you go first Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh something floating no never mind this is map for you loading you're good Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we got the obelisk. Uh, the obelisk? Obelisk. We got the hole. Uh, I, I think we can probably afford to get a little closer, get a little little peer in there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> can we afford to get closer? What if one of us decides to jump in? I'm going to get bankrupt walking. <laughs> what? No. Uh, Adex kind of uh, looks at Alexa like, wants to investigate closer, right? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna peek my little head over the side. Hey. So Lissa, you're going ahead. Is anyone going with Lissa to peek head over side of the hole? Adax will. Hey. Kesher will cowardly approach, but yes. Turan will follow suit. I will also follow my We are all raised. going. Okay, cool. 
Uh, there's like the Scooby Doo moment as like we cut to the the view of the pit looking up, and then we see Lissa's head, and then Adex's head, and then <laughs> Kesher's <laughs> like head very meekly. Um, all right, so. As you peer off the side, uh, there's suddenly this, like, thundering sound as something begins to, like, climb up the sides. Uh, a a lizard-like uh, creature begins to, or toadish lizard reptilian creature, begins to come up in their tongues, flapping in the air as they do so. And I need all of you to roll initiative for me, please. Yeah. You, know what I said about it being, you know what I said about it being okay to stick our heads over the side? I take it back. <laughs> That's 15. Adex uh, rolled 11 on the die for a total of 13 for initiative. Cool. I'm trying to find that friggin' initiative button. Yes, again. Sam, Sam. Uh, basically, you can right click on the um, combat tracker, the swords oh, on the top right, just and just do it there. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right click it, it'll pop it out. I, get Go. I am going at a startling 9 2. <laughs> oh, dear. Kesher, despite being the most paranoid and fearful, is the last to be jump scared by these things. Okay. She just thinks toads are neat. Well, uh, Lissa, you get to go first. You see these uh, these toads. They're about five feet down. They're on the uh, the side. Uh, their tongues are sort of like flapping in the air. Uh, what are you gonna do? Look at that little guy. So have they made it all the way up yet? They're halfway up. They're halfway up. All right. And like the diameter of the hole looks to be about it's like uh, like you're at the very edge, but it's kind of like 10 feet ish wide. There's a bit of there's a bit of like give here. There's enough that they both fit down there in separate areas. All right. Oh, wait. Glowing wall is not solid. It's just light. Never mind. I, I can't yeah. put a lid on the hole, which would be funny. Um. Yeah, in that case, I'm just gonna uh, slither back from the edge of the hole a bit. Mm -hmm. Kind of getting getting out of the line of fire here. Just, excuse me, sorry, pardon me. Uh, and I'm going to just uh, telekinetic projectile on that guy down there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, and that is... Okay, well, there we go. Attack. Ah. That hit 17. Uh, that, that will, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, that will hit. Um, Yay. now, now I, you, you're, you're actually, you pulled back. So. Oh, I guess I should have attacked and then. Yeah, cause, cause it's kind of hard. I'll let you attack and then move. Cause that's fine. Yeah. But yeah, just, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. Cause they couldn't, you can see them. Okay. Uh, roll me damage. Yeah. Damage on telekinetic projectile is one d six. You can click the button that says damage too. Oh, that that is a button. That, that There's a button. Look, doesn't look like a button. No buttons here. One. You do one point of bludgeoning damage. It kind of kind of annoys it, and then you scuttle back. I just kind of eh, throw eh. a little rock at it, and then yeah. slipping away. That brings us to Adex. Awesome. Adex is going to look at this little guy. He's going to take his knife out and basically just stab the little guy right in front of him. <laughs> okay, so over the side. Okay. It's like, is this middle thing like a thing? Or is it like, I'm right in front of no, him? No, no, you're good. You're good. They're, they're about five feet down, but you you still have reach to them. Uh, I'm okay. just making sure you're kind of like stabbing down. Yeah, yeah, Awesome. All right, I'm basically going to do a little stab. Ha! Yep. That's a four of the die. <laughs> I will miss you. You smack into the side of the pit. There's nothing else he could quite do, unfortunately. So he will uh, stand there like, ah, come here, you little. And that's the end of Adex's turn. Uli, you're up. Alrighty then. I am going to, uh, I mean, these frogs are scary and I do look like a particularly scrumptious frog snack. So I am going to uh, back up. I will take out my plasma bolter. And I think I'm just going to line up a shot and shoot. Okay, remember what I told Lissa? You're like, they're five feet down in the pit, right? So, right. so like, you aren't able to see them if you're like 20 feet back and angling towards a pit. 
That is actually very fair. So instead, what about <laughs> here? That's fine. Yeah, they're, okay. they're very good. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty then. Uh, I will put myself into prime um, get eaten range um, because DPS is my god. With a natural you one. A goddamn thing. <laughs> it's a, your god is forsaken you. <laughs> it seems so. <laughs> All right, that's that's I I got no hero points. I got nothing. That's the turn. Okay. The toad gets up. It's gonna provoke an attack of opportunity from you, Adex. Oh, I'm gonna catch you. You're not gonna run them swarm creatures. He'll basically get a little knife swing. Swish. That's a ten on the die for a total of fourteen against its KAC. Fourteen against its KAC will hit. Ah! I so you damage. like slash it as it climbs up the side of the pit and moves past you. Yeah, it's 1d4 plus 2 for a total of 4 slashing. 4 slashing damage. You, you, you cut it. Um, it seems to take note of this. Um, it doesn't quite have enough time to change its plans as it comes out and goes for the person who first attacked it, which was Lissa. Uh, and it stops in front of you, Uli, but then shoots out its tongue towards Lissa. Uh oh, pretty tactical. Lissa, look out! <laughs> um, and will a fifteen hit your KAC, Lissa? It will. Is it four higher than your KAC? It is not. My KAC okay. is twelve. Okay. Perfect. That's good. That's good. Uh, so instead, the tongue will hit you for five points of bludgeoning damage as it impacts into you. Ow. Uh, and then that one is done. And then a second one comes up. Uh, this one sort of like skitters up, um, takes a look around, and is actually going to attack Kesher. Kesher, okay, remember that time um... you thought about living? <laughs> Good luck. Uh, a 14 against your KAC, Kesher. Uh, that is not only higher, it is four higher than my KAC. All right, so a few things happen here. First of all, it's going to do damage to you. So it'll do six bludgeoning damage, so that'll bring you down from 16 stamina to 10 stamina. Then it um, grabs you. So um, if blah, 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 automatically grapples the target. So you are grappled in its tongue as it kind of like it goes around you um doesn't need to have any limbs free um yeah so it can like it can also attempt to like basically hold this on you um so you are grappled as the get tongue off, off, has come around you uh got you. okay panic. cool grappled. All right, uh, that is the end of the toad. Uh, Duran, you are up. Duran will target the faster toad that is over at a ranged party members in front of mm -hmm. Uliu and summon their court apocalypse and make an attack. Wow. Power cord. Oh. And it's a net uh, one. Oh, oh, oh. No. Epic. <laughs> Fail. All and right. That's my action, sisters. Good luck. Excellent. All right. Kesher, so you are grappled. So how that works is you cannot move or take any actions that require two hands. Uh, you can take you take a minus two penalty to your AC, most attack rolls, reflex saves, uh, any init or dex based checks, um, and you can't make attack of opportunity. But if you got like a pistol, you can still fire it and such. Just take the penalty. You could also direct your drone just fine. All right. Let me think. Kesher can do nothing. Nord is going to do everything instead. Okay. <laughs> uh, he is going to move right up next to the toad that is grappling his, uh, his boss, and he is going to immediately fire at it. Yeah, absolutely. It, it again, it chitters like a weird little fucked up machine that it is going. It is going to shoot it with its gun. It's, don't don't Wait. attack my boss. Do not attack my boss. Die. Never mind. He misses with a seven. A natural two. You're getting better, everybody. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
that's uh that's th okay uh well that's gonna bring us back to lissa yeah there you go she sucks guess <laughs> is dying all right Whoa, tongue you got we've, this we've been doing uh we, we've done maybe what one damage all right <laughs> well we've done a little more we've done a little more so nor uh, had to get out of her backpack so he's a little disoriented and Kesher's yeah. useless we know this all right um i could use one of my spell slots to to mind thrust that uh, seems like an overkill on these toads it does it does and also i don't know if they have an intelligence score probably not i'm going to throw another rock Big uh, rock. Eh. No, eh. nobody's taking any hp damage so it's rock time true Ten hit. Ten. A ten does not hit it. It bounces wow. off its thickened carapace. Wow. wow. Yeah, sorry. I can't believe it didn't happen. Didn't happen. <laughs> wow. Correct. Wow. I'm going to give a thumbs up, and then I'm going to slither a little this way. Good luck. Bye. Hey, Dex is like, you tried your best. It just I did my best. Just wasn't good enough. Just like an Adox 4. Guy threw a grenade and it <laughs> fell at his feet. Adex, you go. These stories do nothing for my morale. Adex will, uh, let's see, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger's bias. This one. Uh, is this location in the hole, Thurston? This spot? Uh, no, no, no. You can kind of maneuver around Got it. There, yeah. Uh, Adex will rush up to this fell. Actually, I, there is flanking in Starfinder, correct? Yeah, 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 there is. If, if Uliu has a melee weapon out. Does Uli have a melee weapon out? Uh, is a plasma bolt or a melee weapon? No. no. <laughs> All right, so we're not going to risk attack <laughs> opportunity. So Adex <laughs> will come up to this little guy, and yeah. you know, he's like he's doing like the hand, each kind of movement type of deal, and he will stab, stab, do it up. That's a nine on the die for a total of thirteen KAC. Thirteen will hit it. Absolute ab it. Let's see. Normal damage is uh one D four two on the die for a total of four slashing. You're like, ah, just stab. Yeah, you cut deeper into it and it turns towards you as a like, He goes blah, 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 back. And that's the end of Adex's turn. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uli, you're up. Alright, Uliu is going to seeing now that Adex has uh, this thing's attention, and uh, also knowing that this is not where he wants to be, he is going to raise his hand. Um, actually, let me see if I can move first. Like, I don't, I don't want to mess can, up with the orb. Yeah, can I cast a spell and then move? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to move to here. It will take an attack of opportunity on you. Totally fine. Is that, he Ooh, could step wow. there to prevent that, right? Five yeah, but step. I want to do something. Uh, you you should... could step instead of move. Yes. Well, is that? Wouldn't that take my action? Uh, no, but it's it, because step. It's like a five foot step, but but oh. but you you know they have five foot of reach with their tongues. Oh, okay. Or ten feet of reach with their tongues. So. Okay, yeah. So in that case, I'll move. He can get an A up. Um. Yeah. Blow up tongue. Because it didn't get hit Lissa sufficiently. Oh, uh, look, see, natural uh, one for me. There you go. There you, there you go. go. There you go. <laughs> the tongue, the tongue, like rolls out, like just limply on the ground. Like, bleh. awesome. Um, I'll continue my move to here. I think. Okay. No, I will actually have to stay here. Um, right. and I am going to raise my hand, and I am going to cast a token spell, and I am going to make. I'm going to flavor Adex. <gasps> Adex is now going to taste like the most noxious, disgusting, yeah. Yeah. dreadful chemical bleach and just poison, just terrible, enough to make even a toad gag. It tastes like and a I dry would... erase marker. Exactly. And I'm going to flavor Adex in hoping that if you get hit, it will in some way impede the toad or otherwise take you off of aggro in some way. Yeah, what spell is that? That is token spell. And I should I thought I pressed the button, but I didn't. This is this is definitely, yeah, this is a little like the prestidigitation cantrip. Indeed. 
Awesome. Hey. Thanks, Uli. Good job. And he kind of thumbs up at Uli. Do your best to exterminate these frogs. Order to receive. And he gets ready. Yeah. All right. This this frog here turns to you, Edex. It's going to take a... Uh, it's, it's not going to take a penalty to hit you so much as if it would take a penalty. It will require five higher than your armor to actually be willing to uh, to grapple you. As its tongue comes out. Blip. I hate being tongued in my tabletop games. Be I know. Uh, 17 no against your KAC. That is not 5 over, but it does beat my 15 KAC. Okay, so the tongue smashes into you for six points of bludgeoning damage Ooh. as it just like smokes out, hitting you in the chest, denting you slightly. Oh, um, I've been denting. That, it'll do that, and then it will five foot back. Kind of skittering back as it does so. The other toad is going to go, and the other toad is going to attempt to maintain its grapple on okay. Kesher. What do, do I do an opposing You don't roll? do anything. He Good. just makes a roll, uh, which is a twenty-one, which will beat your your KAC. So yeah, by hold, a lot. hold on to you, and then uses it to constrict you. So the tongue is now closing around you, That's doing a lot of six more points of bludgeoning damage to you. Chitin is Chitin is beginning to crack and buckle a little bit. Well, bye, bye, bye. Uh, Duran, you're up. Oh dear, we can't have that. Now can we? Uh, Duran will switch targets to the one grappling Kesher and try to not get an at one this time. Yeah. You're, you're Please gonna... get your tongue off my arthropodal friend. Wah. And the better. 17 against the EAC. That will hit. Hell yeah. Ooh, light it up. Rock and roll to soothe your soul. Good tunes, Duran. I thought you'd be the one who wanted the big squeeze. Three sonic damage. Yeah, he takes it, kind of causes it to shake a bit. It turns its its eyes towards you briefly. Um, all right. Uh, are you going to take a move or anything? Do it on. Uh, I will stay where I am just because I'm advantageous right now. Sure. Kesher, you're up. Uh, since uh, Nort is in position and is close enough, he's just going to fire, and then I'm going to try to hopefully get Kesher unbound if I can fight this grapple. Yeah, yeah absolutely. All right. So I'm going to have Nort fire first. Yeah, because his his ability to hit is not incumbent on Kesher not being crushed by a tongue. By the way, cringe ass fucking crab being crushed by a thin little toad tongue. Very embarrassing. That one miss. Okay, you can attempt to escape. That's an acrobatics check. Oh, good. She's notoriously good at having acrobatics. Mm hmm. Ha, cooperative. No, but grappled. Yes. Uh, how about a 10? Uh, a 10 is not enough to get you to break the ground. Is that a it's minus okay. one and then a minus two? It's a minus two because she's grappled. Because uh, she's grappled, yeah. And it's a minus one because her dexterity is crap. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, she is continuing to be uh, crushed by the tongue. What? All right. Uh, but then no, Nort fails. So uh, Alyssa, you're up. All right. Toads uh, hopping around and dodging like crazy against the drone. Ribbit. I know. Uh, I'm going to. All right, nobody's taking any HP damage, so I, I think. Uh, uh, and I haven't taken a ton of damage myself, so I don't really need reflecting armor. So yeah. Uh, rock. Rock. It's rocks again. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, all right. How do I? up in the chat. Uh, Miss. Jesus! <laughs> okay. okay. That 20 keeps winking at me. Yeah, oh but instead God. you keep you keep uh, your steady relationship with the two. Um, <laughs> oh, no, this has okay. been three games. I need to look. We're going we're gonna to have an exorcism, I think. The, I, the I, spirit I, of Vina descending and it's just like, if I can't hit them, neither can you. <laughs> I'm going to freeze Fuck your you. fucking pay until you roll better. We're <laughs> <laughs> docking your pay. Docking my pay? Every time you don't hit, I want to take $10 away. <laughs> yeah. These frogs are these frogs are dodgy fuckers. I mean, the, like, they're, they're incredible. They're so fast. They're, they're so, so fast. 
This, this thing is, is like is like whirling itself around <laughs> Kesher like a fucking maypole, <laughs> crushing her throat. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, I, hey, listen. Do you want to move? <laughs> I mean, you've oh. you've thrown your, your telekinetic projectile, so. Um, I I'm close enough to my friends where I I can run in for healing whenever I need. I'm just going to chill out right here. Okay. All right. Adex, you're up. All right. Uh, I would like to do a uh, charge action, if that's okay. Okay. I believe okay, I just okay. basically do uh, a wind up and basically go straight to this guy and get a plus one attack. Is that correct? Make sure I'm doing um, this correctly. So or am I, I wrong? think, I think, let me quadruple check. Because I believe for charge, you need to maybe move like at least 10. Yeah. So you have to move at least two squares. So you'd have to like move there or something, but Whoop. that would prevent. Well, go so. back well, no, forward no. that way. Well, then you, can't, you, can't do a, you can't do a run back thing. <laughs> so uh, move up to double your speed. Um, tight restrictions. You must move at least 10 feet, and all movement must be directly towards your foe. Uh, though diagonal movement is allowed. So you could, but you just, your choice is charge to get the bonus. Um, but also in Starfinder, um, it's that charge. Just save not us really time. That good. I'm just going to hit him, move it. up yeah. and hit him. Yeah. Um, All right. In I know a swing 11 with a total of 15. I think that hits. We'll go That'll ahead and hit. do damage. Yep. yep. Swing two right on the D4 for another four slashing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, swing, swing, uh, swing. You continue to like stab into it. It's getting real hurt. It's looking real bad. Uh, j just a note too for charging. It's a double move, but and then you get an attack at the end of it. the The thing that is different in uh, Starfinder is that you actually take a penalty to your attack roll if you charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The benefit is is you just get the like tons of extra move. Uh, um, okay, my bad. Yeah, 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 no, no, you're good. You're I good. Okay, so it. my bad. Yeah, uh, you're good. Uh, yeah, you're you're all good. Okay, that's it for that. Uliu, you are up. Alrighty then, I think it's time uh, to uh, begin shooting people with my death laser again. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take out my plasma bolter. Well, I don't need to. It's already out. Already out. Yep. And um, sizing up targets. I think that Adex could, and uh, uh, Alyssa, despite the situation here, uh, can probably take out the toad. And by shooting it, I might anger it. Whereas this toad is already grappled and needs help with the DPS. So I'm going to take the plasma bolter, target the one next to Nort, and yep. I'm going to uh, go and fire. I love that it completely cut out anything you said. Absolutely. Oh boy. That is a 21 versus his EAC. That will hit. Give me damage. I will happily give you damage. Ah, it's not the best. It's three. Yeah, it takes three points. <laughs> you continue to to put the pressure on. All right, uh, that's the turn. All right. It's gonna kill me. You're gonna Lisa. die, Kesher. You're gonna You're die. Gonna die. You're gonna die. Vored by a frog. Horror. I'm going to I'm going to attack you, Adex, with the frog. Frog. Jesus Christ. That's a pretty <laughs> good roll. That's well, definitely gonna do grab and everything. Sweet. So it's definitely gonna grab you. Um and it's gonna do damage. So it's gonna do uh four bludgeoning. So I got <gasps> you there, and then you are now grappled. But actually, how much did it beat you by? This is important. Uh by a lot. Um I have fifteen um, KC, so over ten. Okay, one sec. I actually need to know the, the specific amount. One sec. My KAC um, is, it is it over 15. thirteen. Is it over thirteen? Uh what is twenty eight is... minus fifteen? It is exactly 13. It is exactly 13. Yep. It pins you. Oh, Jesus. I'm pinned. Uh, I'm pinned, brother. Yeah, um, so so pinning is obviously worse. Um, what is pinning, Thurston, you rat fuck? Wow. Wow, wow. Hostile, Hostile player. player. Hostile player. <laughs> GM oh, shock his balls. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the the pinned condition. Um, you're tightly bound and can take few actions. While you are pinned, you're you can't move. Are flat footed. Take a an additional minus four penalty to your armor class attack rolls, reflex saves, dex checks. Um, you are limited. You cannot take any action that requires any use of your limbs, uh, but you can try to get yourself free with an acrobatics check. Not athletics? It's not an nope. option? Wow. Hate nope. that. Yeah, get dunked. All right. That's the first toad. 
Uh, the second toad is, of course, going to try to maintain the tongue grapple on Kesher. Uh, no, it fails. It, it, it is tired of the taste of crap. It is. It is. It is. It is tired. So it finishes that up and then it decides to uh, de attack move, again. Move to there. It and kind of like saunters it. away. Uh, no, that was its, that was his action. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm, I'm maintaining is to to hold. Uh, but you are no longer grappled, Kesher. So that's good. Uh, Duran, you're up. <coughs> all right, both my, all my party members are dying currently. I love to see it. There's like the crunching of of metal and joints as Adex is pinned. Help we got me! two kinds of crunching: metal and crustacean crunching. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Okay, let's focus on the one whose parts we can't replace first. We'll attack the same one that we attacked last time. Please kill I hit, this man, nor does I hit them with my him. evil blunt. Twenty-one against EAC. That that will hit. Another yeah. damage. Roll one. There Fuck! You Fuck you. <laughs> you! You you hit him with the first couple of notes of smoke <laughs> on the water. Yeah, holy shit! You're what? building it up. You're building it up. Why are we bad at this game? It's 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 that really muffled Xbox 360 recording of the guy doing. Down 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 down. Oh god. Uh, Kesher now quite uh fueled both by fear, irritation, <laughs> and uh humiliation at being attacked by a frog, <laughs> is going to whip out her pistol and going to fire wildly at this thing in the hope. Absolutely. That Absolutely. Ah! Beep beep pew. Hey, frogs! It says I have no ammo left, but I've tried reloading this thing like twice, so whatever. Uh, I'll figure it out one sec. Pew. There you go. Oh my god, 16 against You'll me. hit. <gasps> You'll hit. Oh, Wait, hang on. Roll a okay, lot of damage. Oh yeah, now I have to roll the damage. Let's let's see what I get. Not a bottle. That's Two. good. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay. Okay. Now, now Nort is going to fire. And yes. if I hit, I'm going to activate double trouble. Yes. Come on, Nort. We believe in you. Let's go, Nort. We believe in Nort. 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 Yes. The legend. Okay. 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 So roll damage for Nort. Three. Nort. Nort's better than you. Okay. Of course. And I'm going to activate Kesher's special feature, which never came up previously because she couldn't hit anything to save her fucking life. That is double trouble, which is upon both me and my little drone hitting with the same weapon and energy type. Uh, I can activate it and force the critical hit effect and will flatfoot the target. Oh, excellent. So I will be flat footed and then you force the critical effect of the, uh, the and weapon. The critical effect. Should I just roll damage and crit? Uh, no, 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 no. So it's the critical effect, right? So let me double check here using the save. You, I believe it just sets it on fire. The second weapon. It, it is. So I believe uh, for the azimuth laser pistol, the most reliable laser pistol in the galaxy, it is now burn D4. Uh, Kesher's had enough, and then she is just pulling the trigger. like, <laughs> And Nord is also going. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Yeah, cool. There we go. All right, got it. Awesome. It's, so it's on fire now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Blissa, right. you're up. All right. Well, uh, I'll be honest with you. I don't really have a lot in my in my tank right now. <laughs> I went Throw mostly support. But guess what I'm doing? Throwing a rock. I'm throwing a rock. Yo, Yo, rock hype. Rock up. <laughs> oh, Let's do rock it. We like rock. Oh. We like rock. We like rock. We like rock. We like rock. Let's go, Lisa. Let's go. There you go, rockets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> Unga those bongas. Four damage. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so close. Rock, rock, it's rock, so rock, rock, close to being dead. It's so close to being dead. This thing, but it's like it's continuing to crush Adex. Adex, uh, you're up. How are you choking? Yeah. You're a robot. The only organic part about him is his brain. Maybe it's just like a response they programmed in. <laughs> don't, don't profile know. me. She's still firing. 
Anyway, <laughs> uh, I cannot do anything, obviously, except try to escape. Yep. Not with athletics, which angers me to this very day. Great. But I have a minus four in acrobatics, so we can try that. Correct. All right. I am trying to escape. Chad, do you believe in me? In any way, shape, or form, please have faith in me. Please just help me out. All right, bro. Don't give him anything. I rolled a 15, but minus four makes a total of 11. That's enough. You break it. God, she really was one away from succeeding, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, uh, that's your, but that's your action, though. So. Do I have a move action? Nope. It's a full action to break out. I shit on him. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. That's okay, good. so now the, now, the, now the toad is going to attack him and restrain him again. Yes. Lily, you're up. All righty then. Um, Please, please. Uh, frogs and their consequences have been a disaster for this party. Um, no kidding. And so I am going to... I think any conflict is a disaster for this cup party. Yes. I, we, we've had some... We've done well. We've done... We've, we've got... We, okay, I'm just going to kill him now. Uh, I'm going to take the Plaza Vaulter, and I'm going to say... <clears throat> ack, ack. Did you pick okay. that one up? Which one are you shooting? The one that is holding Adex. Oh, no longer holding Adex, but yes. The one... The, the, the artist formerly holding Adex. Excellent. There we go. Oh, nice. Uh, 16, my good DM. All right. All right. So just don't roll a one or a two on your damage. Just don't do that. How hard? Don't do that, forehead. So sorry. Seven. I disintegrate it into a red skeleton. It turns into a human skeleton. <laughs> a red it's human a, skeleton. It's a guy in a suit. Stunt double. Blech, blech, blech. It's dead. Blech. Adix. Frog amphibian annihilated. With the death of that guy, I will do my reaction to where I will do uh my, what you call it, battle leader thing where I'm pretty much doing victory cry. I looked at earlier going, good job, little buddy. Good kill. Kesher, keep holding up in there. And I will give Kesher three stamina points. Nice. Yay. Yeah, she is healed for three stamina. She feels a bit better about nearly being killed by a funny little frog. Uh, Uli, are you moving? Oh, uh, that is a great question. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose it would make sense for me to move, so I'll get to over here, I guess. All right. So then we come to the on-fire toad, who immediately takes D4 points of burning damage. You want to roll me a D4, Erndel? Yeah, you got it, dog. Please, you you cause fire. Free so. damage, burn. Okay, so it's it's burning. It's not it's not doing too good. Um, okay, so hmm. you can attempt a reflex save at the end of this, but also it can automatically end this condition by jumping into water. So it will move in front of you and spend its whole action on its back in the puddle, getting the water off of the the fire off of it. There we go. Oh, he gets the flat-footed off, too? Uh, it lasts um, until the end of his turn, so. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, that's it for him. Uh, Duran, you're up. All right, can we actually finish this? We're going to keep on playing. Maybe, uh, I, I don't think that was the right chord. Hold on. I haven't, this is a new song. <laughs> pardon me, pardon me. I'm trying to work this one out. Not everything can be perfect in the first try like me. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> hey. Oh, not so much. It hits. It hits. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. What did you roll, Hulky? What? I rolled a one. I always roll a one, Zoran. <laughs> oh All my the god. People he's listening he's might playing. Know. He's playing Dig by Mudvayne at it now. Kish, Kisher, you're up. Can't believe Duran nah, nah, plays nah, Weezer. Nah, nah, nah. Burber yeah, ding, oh, burber God. ding, burber ding. Uh, you already know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot at this thing, but first I'm gonna start with yes. Nort in case he can kill it. Okay. Nort, shoot he ass. God motherfucking damn. That, that'll him. hit. Blast that hits. him. Three. Is he alive? He has, he has one hit point left. No. Yeah, Kesha's going right. to fire at him with her firearm. <laughs> Fucking kill. Die. Die. Die, damn it, too. <laughs> that will miss. 
<laughs> it's like old. it's like in the little puddle in front of you on its back, it's like belly exposed. Like, come on, come on. <laughs> Kesher sucks. This is this is no. <laughs> Lissa, you're Lissa, up. throw a rock at it. End the fight, please. <laughs> All right. That's nice, Ed. Hit the dang thing. I'll throw a rock. Oh man, I should have just fucking punched this stupid thing. I have a ten in strength. <laughs> <laughs> Give it belly scratches. Um, all right, Lissa, throw your rock. Twelve. He's well. Dead. No, it doesn't hit because that targets a uh, KAC, which no! misses. <laughs> <laughs> it flips back off of its back. And These are its two enemies, and we have wasted thirty minutes <laughs> trying to kill them. Uh, Adex, here. Come on, I'll take you on. Adex just rushes up. <laughs> This fucking thing. Um, I would like to go around more, but you know, he rushes up this thing, yeah, just knife good. out like die and just <laughs> knife does a knife this fucking thing. That's a 14, 18 KC total damage. Bam! Rolls on the D4 for a three plus two for a five damage. He just ah, <laughs> he gets flashbacks of the swarm attacks. And he's like, ah, ah, and he throws the corpse. And he just kind of looks at everyone going, I think we got him, folks. Yeah. And how about we take our break? <laughs> yes, there we go. Yay. Wow. Okay, give everybody a second to reset their luck. Let's all, let's, let's all. all. I really <laughs> wanted you to crit because they're like one special ability they have is a 20% chance to negate a crit. And I really wanted you at like the later part just to get a crit and be like, Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, but I wanna you didn't kick. crit. You just you killed them the old fashioned way. Also, yippee with all that. Three more stamina to Kesher. We will be right back, everyone, as we yeah. give ourselves a little Q&A section and stuff for our Patreon folks Ooh. and uh, people uh, helping out on the streams and stuff. But we won't be going to We'll be back with the show. We'll be right back. Not going anywhere. See you guys Yay. then. Welcome back, everyone. And we just murdered some frogs, and now we're ready to continue on through Junkers to Light. What do you got for us, Thurston? Yeah, so so with the, the, the toads defeated, you have a moment to, to breathe before carrying on. Is there anything you want to do in the immediate aftermath, or... Is there a way to get our stamina back quickly, or are we stuck with what Yeah, we you could all spend a resolve point to uh, restore any of your lost stamina. So you just take, like, a ten-minute rest. Any stamina that's gone, you restore it back to full. I will do that, so I'll get my 18 cool. total stamina back. Yeah, awesome. Uh, Kesher's gonna hold off just for now because she's not. She checks over some of the busted up chitin, and she's like, "Eh, it's fine." Oh, did we get our resolve back on rest? Is that when that? Yeah, yeah. You'd you'd be okay. at max resolve for the day. So. Gotcha. Uh, uh, I guess I, I guess I'll use one for. Um... And yeah. Yeah, you got kind of dinged up. Yeah. Got a little ding. So what do I roll for that again? Nothing. Just, you just get it all. You spend the resolve point, get all your stamina back. It's basically like a stamina rest. All right. Yeah, she's back yeah. at 16 stamina. Sweet. Okay, cool. Um, is anyone, like, looking around here uh, before you, you head off or checking? Yeah. The, the... yeah. Kesher's going to look for fucking whatever. Sorry, go ahead, yeah. Alyssa. Uh, I'll just go ahead and do a quick little investigation. Sorry, yeah, my, my Give me perception checks. I'm also. Duran's also gonna do an investigation of I'm things ulcer. to load into the syringe stitch. And I'm gonna. To, I'm just gonna actually. You know what? I'm gonna just roll. Fuck it. Where's invest on? It's ready two for 19. me. I will get okay. a four. <laughs> Okay. Um, distracted by Coco Melon. Lisa, uh, you are able to um, discover something, Ooh. as is Duran, I suppose, who waited. Um, Duran and Lisa, both of you are able to tell that there is something at the bottom of the hole, half a half buried canister. Uh, how deep's the hole? Ten feet. Ten feet. All right. I'll slither on down there. Yeah. Sure. Um, inside, you find a couple of things. Just one sec. I don't want to sneeze in all of your ears. My sneeze Bless ASMR. Oh, no. <laughs> we were deprived. Oh, really, really bad sneeze. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, there is a 
like a, a whole canister full of UPBs, universal polymer bundles, that are basically like the broken down building blocks of everything. They're kind of like um, the World of Warcraft dust equivalent in this uh, setting, where if you like disenchant or break something down, everything can be broken down into UPBs. Um, you can find a canister that contains about 4,000 of them. Neat. I'll and there's also that. a technological um or technologically enhanced circlet in there. Ooh. Oh. A Cir circlet. Yeah. Um, yes. Um, do we have anyone that can identify this? Give a mysticism check. Oh, Engin or an engineering check? Engineering. Uh I got mysticism. I got engineering. Engineering. I will roll Let's my engineering. 15. Uh, does anyone want to assist with my engineering? Because I'll get cooperative plus two if you do. I will assist you. Thank you, Yuli. You, you are very powerful. Epic. I got a twenty-seven. Nice. I will add cooperative. Thank you, Yuli. Pure and over Kesher's shoulder. shoulder. Terrifying. Now Kesher will grow high ah, and it will die. It's better. But oh. It's still enough to identify it. This is a mind link circlet. It's a technological device. Uh, you can wear it and communicate telepathically with any creature within 30 feet that you share language while you wear it. It goes on. It goes on you, Liu. <laughs> you guys just, I need, I have telepathic message. I can communicate <laughs> telepathically and I get that. That means I can talk to people uh, with three times at once, right? It just gives no. him an echo. No, it just, yeah, it gives <laughs> you a Induced headache. schizophrenia. <laughs> it, it gives you a headache. No, who wants, who wants to, uh, who wants to, to wear it? Uh, I'm give it to, let me, what's it? Probably Duran, I think it would work best yeah. on. Uh, I, I think that they're, uh, real good at talking to people, and if, hey, they can do it at a distance, that's, that's pretty nice. Of nice course. Duran. Okay. I love being the voice in people's heads and outside of them, too. So certainly worming my way in without the subliminal messaging in my track list would be a great benefit to me. Okay, now but do, I, I must <laughs> ask Thurston, does the circlet go with their outfit? Yes. Good. Kesher fucking <laughs> Let's go. Always says, stay serving. Kesher wrings her hands and says, it does also look quite nice on you. Adex gives a thumbs up. You look great, queen. All right, let's move out. <laughs> it, will not fit on, it will not fit on Kesher's head. She got, she got that dome. All right. Um, no. There, There is also amongst the UPBs some kind of strange technological device. Um, it looks to be something um, like... Oh, give me an engineering check, actually. All Let's right, you got it. I will not assist. I will make my own. Okay. All right, I will also make my own. Okay, well, 16. I got a 28. <laughs> Excellent. Also, can uh, I pick up... How, mu how many UPBs can I pick up just like just to have in my inventory, if possible? Uh, well, you can just ha take all 4,000 of them. Like, someone needs yeah. to hold them. Um, okay, so... Um, let's see here. Yeah, the, okay. So it's a uh, an electrolytic capacitor. Electrolytic capacitor, huh? Yeah, an electrolytic capacitor. And then as well within the UPBs, you also find another uh, item, which is uh, a, a a small stash of harmonic coils. Huh. Harmonic coils and electrolytic capacitor. What would I? What would these be good for, Thurston? A lot of a lot of different things, but they're they're like parts that are. In, in good good working order they're used for like channeling a lot of electromagnetic energy mm. yes i guess I, I could add that to the, my inventory and just stuff them in her backpack next to nort who now has to make space with the junk it's true and all four thousand of the upbs i guess yes all of all of the little upbs um so with that um you you get all of this and you, you carry on eventually um, making your way towards a, um, a section of cross beams that are a bit tricky to to pass through. You don't need to make acrobatics checks or anything, but it's just like, hey, you gotta go over some cross beams. As you do, um, you begin hearing some some like sounds like like a conversation is happening just beyond the latest uh, mound of electronic detritus you've passed into. 
You just hear these like faints. It's hard. You're not quite close enough, but you can tell that just just around the corner there's some kind of conversation happening. Uh, Crab freezes up. They are speaking the language of the gods. No, just kidding. I don't know what they're saying. Well, I... let's, let's 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 listen a little. I'll can I can I just peek a little bit around the corner, just very quietly. Um, yeah. Do you want to give me a stealth check, or do you just want to just peek? I just want to peek. I don't want to get super close. Oh, God. Eight extra grenade. grenade. I'm, I'm preparing my SWAT 4 mentality. <laughs> You're in my way, I, sir. I, I, was, I was literally, I was messing with it because it was apparently not checked as equipable, my pistol. So I mm -hmm. checked that and reloaded it. Gotcha. Um, yeah, you can, you can take a peek. Uh, as, as you sort of peek over, there is a female space goblin dressed in a pair of dirty coveralls rummaging through a battered chest almost as large as herself, while a male Ikeshti is wearing a shiny silver flight suit near and sits nearby on an overturned, discarded cooking range. Uh, you hear the Ikeshti, just, what is in there? You've been rummaging for hours. No, nothing good in here. Blit. Nothing good. Nothing good. See, that's what I was talking about. We have to focus. What? Uh, Merc, the mid zone. You said we have a way into the starship. Yes, yes. She, she, she says, yes, I have a plan. And then she hops off the trunk. There might be something in here. And she's like looking around for more things. How interesting. Uh, uh, I'm going to telekinetic. Oh, sorry. I don't, I don't hear this. So I'm going to shut up. Yeah, I'll lean back around and just kind of report what I heard, uh, exposit what Thurston said to the rest of my gang, and then, ain't it a bit weird? Aren't there two factions supposed to be, you know, button heads? Yeah. I don't know. They're probably going to come to an agreement at some point, or these two probably splintered off knowing that they can get in for the big prize by themselves. Regardless of it, I think a little bit of, he kind of pops his metal collars that don't move at all, like clink, a little bit of class might be needed. Recommend I, negotiations. I agree. Negotiations or interrogations. Well, I, I think it is worth talking to him, especially if the two of them aren't hostile toward each other or hopefully anyone else. Adex rubs his metal chin. I propose, since they think they might have a way to get in it, maybe they need a little bit of mechanical muscle to help themselves in it. Maybe we can present me as something to be sold, and I'll play the role of a dumb robot, and then maybe we can uh, barter with them. You know, that's probably what a lot of folks do here in the junkyard, and then they can lead us straight to the ship. Interesting. It's a proposal, but I definitely want to hear more from the squad mates. If anybody else has any other ideas. Uh, My apologies, Adex. I was talking in your head right now, but I must have had it on mute. No, I think that's a great point. They probably could use the muscle. They don't seem terribly physically adaptive. But what is the plan then? If we sell you to them, do we make our way to the ship? And as soon as we're inside, do you just motions to cracking their necks. Oh, yeah, we can murder the shit out of them. Uh, can we... Not, look, maybe we just take a minute off of trying to murder people until... They don't look terribly, um... threatening. Kesha and Duran will crane over looking at this small arthropod. Wait, she, she's six foot seven. She's six foot seven? Oh. Yeah. She's not very small. <laughs> <laughs> he cranes below her. Cranes. <laughs> did I fucking did I forget to set their height? Oh no, I'm three inches taller than you. Fuck you, Erndell. Uh, uh -huh. Still craning. No! Still craning. Uh -huh, tiny. It's all the heels. It's all the heels. Kesher. I agree. We don't always need to kill somebody, but in business, as in most things, 
sometimes the only way to move forward is to move through. And if these two prove to be an obstacle, I, oh, I scarcely could imagine any easier way through them, particularly their fleshy chests, than Adex's big, strong grippers making a path forward. No. Adex, I will pay you more if you punch a hole in their chest. Got it. Mission is accepted. Uh, I, we, uh... I will actually raise my hand. He gives yes. you a high five. <laughs> I will accept a high five, but that is not my intent. Um, <laughs> will you? We will speak up. In truth, do run while your ruthlessness is of usefulness. It is also possible that these individuals may be of further use if they are able to devise ways to enter into the area where we are wanting to be going. Entirely correct, Ulio. Spot on. Punching a hole through them is merely the backup plan, if they are not of use to us otherwise. Although they seem... Well, I can't really make a judge of their character. I mean, <laughs> look, look at me, I'm the one to talk. We will simply need to convince them that we come in peace. Or leave in pieces. <sighs> we'll try for diplomacy and niceness first. And if that fails and they decide to go after us, they will be eliminated. There are five of us, uh, six, I know. Her pack starts fidgeting when she says five people. There's six of us, so I don't think they'd be very wise in attacking us. Let's just go talk with them first before we decide whether we're going to... Be uh, sure to mention your podcast, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. What? Wha what? Wha what? What's the murder kill word? The murder kill word? Oh, I get to decide the murder kill word. Uh, well, I would imagine it would be something like kill him. But I mean, if if we're thinking something a little more covert, what about broccoli? Roger. Uh, All right. Broccoli. Exactly. The kill word has been said. <laughs> <laughs> it starts killing. Leo runs off. <laughs> <laughs> Gun in hand. Just like, kill them all! Alright. I Crypto! Shutting down primary thought system. And then basically Adex is just... He's very rigid. Just stands there at attention. Why did he do that? Is that Does that work? I thought he had a brain in his brain. He's supposed to have a brain in his brain. I don't know... Uh, Okay, what, whatever. It's it's fine. It's fine. Let's just let's just go approach them. Okay. Follow my lead. Okay. Adex, you? at attention. Follow. Roger. <laughs> he basically starts. He starts walking with you. Juran will put on their shades. For those walking behind Juran, you can see in very large, what looks to be metallic in nature print on the back of his giant white coat says a stylized speed king <laughs> fuck yeah oh yeah oh my god he likes going fast was that the name of their most recent album I don't know I don't think I got the recent one I have no money yeah I mostly just find what records I can from you know Second-hand shops. All right. Okay, okay. so we're we're approaching these this duo. Okay, so as soon as you approach the the goblin who she is picking her nose turns to to see you all, and immediately she falls on her knees and just I'm sorry. Oh, that was easy! Yay! Oh, uh -oh. uh -oh. that. Okay. Oh, Hitch, you, Hitch, so surrender! Much. Hitch, surrender! And like the Akash day is like, uh, I surrender. Good, 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 good. We surrender. Yes, yes good. Uh, I, I, I'm happy to hear that you surrender, but we're not exactly coming to. Well, no, no, we surrendered. Now, now you have to help us. That's not how that works. It, no. What? Hold on. But if you don't, that's it's bad. We surrendered. You have to help us. That's, that's, that's how that works. 
What's going I on? I don't know. I don't think they know the laws of combat or war in this part of the galaxy. Profession right. in murder. That's not war. how it. That's not how it. No, no, no. It's it's profession in. Follow me here. <laughs> profession invader. Is that how it works? Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Wait, Twenty-one. Uh, is it a tactic you would use against someone? Okay, yeah, that Does... is true. About Thurston, can I roll a different profession to understand possibly what this is, given where we are? Profession salvaging. Can sure. I also roll profession politician to know this is going <laughs> sure. to be a war crime? <laughs> sure. This is, of course it's a war crime. Anyway, she rolls a 13 because this is weird. Oh, poopy. How better than Tyran? <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, I hope you were like, like, the laws of the junkyard are strange and alien. They're gonna be anything. <laughs> <laughs> laws, of the, laws of the junkyard are weird and alien, like me. No, no, we, we surrender. No, no. Humble request for aid. You need to help. You need to help me. You need to, you need to get me an electrolytic capacitor, a plasma charger circuit, uh, size 23, 23 harmonic coil. Um, 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 you need to get all those for me. Uh, Kesher does, again, the crab equivalent of blinking, whatever that is, because I don't think she has eyelids. Her little, like, pseudopods just wipe her eyes. Yeah, they pull out a little, like, uh, window cleaner and go, ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> oh. And she reaches into her pack and pushes Nord aside for a moment and retrieves two of the three things she just mentioned. Whoa! And, like, this goblin, like, gets up from their surrender position running towards you up to, like, you know, your 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 upper thigh and, like, starts reaching up. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me! Uh... She will lean back reflexively and then just start to slowly lean forward and then down, craning like a real life shrimp and then passing her the two objects. Okay, okay, very, very good, very good, very good. Um, okay, 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 okay. Okay, good, good, good. This is good. This is good. Very good. Duran will telepathically communicate with Ulio. Man, these things on this planet are not exactly as we would do things elsewhere, but I. Who am I to judge the local flavor? Am I right? Okay, okay, okay. And she's just like looking at these parts, like, eh. and they, the Akeshti is again, it just head, like head on their head, looking down, like, okay. Uh, Thurston, could I do an engineering for what those two could possibly be used for? Because see if I could piece together why this fucking runty little lady is so excited by this. Sure. Okay. Let me let me try my engineering. The keyword being try. I roll a four for a fourteen. Um, again, like electromagnetism is a big thing for some of these parts. Mm. Okay. I love Gauss rifles. We can we can we can use it. Catch, catch, catch it. We we almost there. Almost there. We can we can we can put it on together, and then we can make the EMP king. And then we can get into the door, and once we once we're in the door, then then we can get the ship, and then the ship's ours. See, 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 see. All we had to do was surrender. It's great. It's great. Uh, Kesher's gonna turn towards the lizard and just kind of query him very quietly. What's she talking about? The 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 crashed starship. It's got a it's got a shielded airlock. So, the Merc here was gonna build a EMP key to get us past it. Oh. Mm. Yeah, very, very confident I can do it. Yes, 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 yes. very confident I can can put this with this, with that, with that, and then we, we just need to get the plasma, but oh, uh, that's gonna be bad. Uh, can't do that because you'll all die because you can't get the part because I dropped it. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. You dropped the part, so... Wait. Where did you drop the part? I'm, 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 uh, uh, the golem. What? The golem? Mm, uh, yes, yes, this is a junk golem. <laughs> Ran into junk golem. That's where, that's where Kesh and I became best friends, best friends. But then I dropped it. And then we got here and I realized I dropped it. And then we realized we could get into the ship. But we needed the plasma, uh, but we can't because the golem has it. And, and, uh... 
Okay. I mean, we... Oh, why am I saying this? We could get it if you're helping us get inside the ship. Oh, but the golem will kill you. I know that. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd probably kill you. No. Well, I mean... Only one who knew anything about that golem was Zethelred. Crazy kook lives lives in a shack further west in. Very crazy. Very, very shacked. Very shacked. Uh, very I shacked. Mean, we could, if we don't want to, like, fight this thing, unless the golem picked up the object and ran off with it, we could always just try to... Oh, no, I dropped it in its chest. It's in its chest. It's part of the golem now. Oh. Well, I guess plan B is Shaq guy. Maybe we can uh, shut it down. Leo raises his hand. Uli. Uh, the, 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 the goblin merc comes up and gives you a high five. <laughs> okay, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, yes, Uli. Oh, game. Your, your, head, your head like this, my head like this. It like, does like a stretched out head versus a compressed head. Yeah, you grab him green. <laughs> when you hit them with that gray stare. <laughs> <laughs> um, After a few moments of awkward silence. Okay, but what do you want inside of the sheep? Yeah, <laughs> well... Inside of inside of ship, um, um, treasure, riches. Do you have a specific treasure that you want? Because we do. No, we we just think we could take over the place if we could get in the ship. Yeah, yeah, big 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 boss, way bigger than other bosses. Well, current bosses, current bosses who are very big. Yeah, yeah, they're. Well, Bob Guzzle not big normally, but Bob Guzzle have power armor, so Bob Guzzle big in power armor. What can you tell me of the bosses of this place, and have they paid for a... Do they... Are they... Who is responsible? How do I meet the president to pay my parking ticket? Oh, oh, yeah, pr president of, of, of goblins is Bob Guzzle. Bob Guzzle in power armor. Where do I find him? Well, uh, they're closer out in the Midlands on the way to the ship. And if I destroy him, I am the leader. Well, no, no. And then the the, the Akeshti kind of like like pipes in. No, because then there's the Akeshti leader, uh, Asashla. And then if I destroy them, I am the leader. Well, if you kill her and you kill Bomb Guzzle, then I guess. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what do I need to know about killing them all now? Uh, Bomb Castle in big power armor goes stomp, 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 pew, pew! Pew, 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 Big you know, mega junk laser, chainsaw. Uh, Ashala's big, probably gonna turn into a rivener soon. Hasn't made it very upset. That is pretty funny. Okay. We will go now and find the crazy man in the shack, and then we will probably uh, kill all of the other bosses, and then we will get into the ship, and then we will probably kill you. I mean, not do that. Okay, Stop. let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and with this, with this meeting of the philosophers, <laughs> uh, uh, is there anything else we want to do here? I think we should go get the golem chunk. Yeah. yeah. Let's go get chunks. Okay, so, so you're going to go to the shack first before going to the yeah. golem? Yes. Indeed. Okay, 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 okay. So, are you asking any other questions or are you just kind of like, all right, let's go to the, the shack and you, the shack's west? Okay, we'll head that way. Um. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say, you will all wait here, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Very, very good things. Maybe a refrigerator full of snack. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so you begin making your way to Zethelred's camp. Um, again, it's about 
a 30 minute walk from the area you're in at which you can see a small lean to standing at the end of a clearing front half of a massive dark green starship looms above blotting out the sun broken weaponry laser rays and plasma cannons jet from the hull casing uh, sending long shadows around the ground small craters each ringed with scorch marks mar the dirt here so You are along the eastern side. You can see that the little shack is here. There's craters and scorch marks everywhere, and even a little, like, strange pile of blood over here. I don't have vision. I don't know to have vision. Or oh, you don't have vision? One sec. I give you have vision. Vision. No, vision. I have vision. How do I teach? I can see now. So how do I teach these epic. keys? How do I make keys? I don't have vision. I will refresh. And see you that. should refresh, because you probably were a fool. Adex oh. boots back up, just... Boop, and he's back. He's like, all right. Why did no one say broccoli? Broccoli. Because oh, we're not <laughs> killing... Stop. <laughs> we both start firing in the air. Broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, it's because we we aren't killing them. I think we're not doing that, right? No, no not, we're not yet. Doing that. All right. <sighs> what are you doing? Shack spotted. Well, Adex starts moving up. Yeah, Kesher beckons for everyone to go before her. All right, Adex will move uh, twenty-five feet this way. Move closer. May I roll a perception check to see if anybody is living in the shack? One sec. Oh. Land. Adex advances to this point. Adex, give me a reflex save. It's like the time on, on Terror 4. When you had to make a reflex save? When, when, when whatever you're having to make a reflex save against you, you encountered it for the first time. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a 15 on the die for a total of 21 for Adex's reflex save. Cool. You only take five points of electricity and fire damage as you step on a torpedo that detonates. <gasps> oh, well, you oh see, this used to be an easy time on Torpedo 4 as I basically... Like <laughs> <laughs> <My> Torpedo 4? <laughs> Tortito 4. Oh, okay. Tortito 4. Tostino's 4. <laughs> He's a little... Oh, oh, as the explosion finishes. Fiesta Bowl. Mm -hmm. Adex turns back. Landmine. Anyway, <laughs> the car. As, as I was perfect. saying, Adex keeps walking. <laughs> okay. Walks up. Uh, should we? Should we keep an eye out for landmines? Yes, I agree. I am. Are you? I lost my legs long ago. Well, now you have new legs. You don't want to lose those too. They're disposable. He keeps walking. Okay. Right. Right. Halfway, halfway there, he's standing in the middle of the explosion crater zone. My GM view is great, by the way. I, uh, I, uh, I think at this uh, point we might need to intervene and not get blown up. By hey, chat, I'm should I go left or diagonal then left? Chat plays Adex. Yeah, yeah, it's battleship. <laughs> roll a D8. Left or diagonal, chat. <laughs> Pick one. Oh, wait. I don't have a token in the. Oh, in the God. Scene. I'm making oh, yeah, a clear gonna, path for hey, my yeah, friends. Well, that would be why. Let me this add a token. Gone. Well, this is also, Kesher's just going to, like, follow behind Adex. Like, directly <laughs> okay. behind him. Okay. Um, I'm going to roll up. Uh, may I roll a bit of perception, Thurston, to uh, uh, see if I can spot maybe places where things have been buried? Conspicuously. Yeah. Well, I was going to do perceptive, yeah. but first it stopped me to blow me up with the man. Well, yeah, because you're like, I'm looking at the shack. Also, I'm moving up while looking at the shack. You never did me, perception. bro. You never did me, bro. I'm proceeding. That's a 27. Whoa. Right. Roll perception for me, Adex. I'm looking for mines. That's 11 on the die for a total of 16. God. All right, chat. For those who said go diagonal and forward, you win. Anyway, Adex <laughs> does that. He gets to the shack. Hold on. Yeah, I see some things buried about thereabouts and thereabouts. And... All right. 
I'm going to slither after Pressure him. Starts moving. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Uli. Ah, ah. Uh, careful of the land. Stop playing magic. Come, get over here. <laughs> Nort watches with great amusement as everyone has to tiptoe through the minefield, and he just goes. It's it's Tiptoe not that I was playing field. magic. I was looking for my inventory to see if I had a cheeky anti <laughs> You fuck! I'm not gonna it's play like, arena on stream. Are you kidding me? Stop doing your dailies. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> wrecked. Um, All right, we get to the yeah, shack. So, so you, yeah, you get up to the shack. Um, you can see that there's a variety of like furnishings and objects that have been placed here, like a heavy duty sleeping bag stretched over a table. There's a half eaten moldy energy bar. Uh, it looks like no one's been here for at least a week or so. Oh, he's got a straight up gamer pad in here. Yeah, this uh, is where like perception sleeps. Yeah, this is this is this is the shadow uh, legend. Uh, roll me a f perception check, please. Everybody. Yeah. Mm hmm. Everybody. I need everybody. Need everybody. Mighty eyeballs. It's nineteen. Kesher is too busy looking. I borg. Okay. Index rolling nine on the die for a total of fourteen. I rolled an eighteen 15 on the, the die. die. Okay. And nineteen so. total. So um, between your checks, Lissa and Duran, once again, and Uliu, uh, you're able to find a couple things um, in this little, little living space. First of all, there is a uh, personal data pad that's under a small pillow here. Um, it appears to be a common model electronics uh, pad used in the Vescarium, which is sort of another interstellar empire. Um, the reptilian Vesk are the sort of predominant species in, though there are others. Um, it's currently locked with a passcode that would require a computer's check to hack. Um, along with that, um, you can also discover a steel lockbox under the bed. Uh, it looks like you could open it with a um, engineering check. Uh, you might need an engineering kit to like properly pry it open. Uh, oh. But those would be the two things you find. I can, hmm. How can I roll to pry that open? I got a kit. And yeah, Kesher absolutely. is, in fact, an engineer. So it's kind of like... Wow! Wow. Uh, yeah. 19. Uh, was Uliu helping you with this? Yes, I would love to help you with this. Okay, roll it. I like the view. That becomes a twenty-one. I like the view here. There looks like a bunch of pistols and bullets <laughs> on the screen. So if anybody coming in, going like, why are there a bunch of guns on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there. I was trying to find a good like landmine image that was not or that was defaulted into Foundry, but a lack and alas, I went with gun. Um, all right, so that's actually enough for you to pop it open with your engineering kit. And as you do, you can see it contains several things, uh, particularly um, four spell gem. Yeah. One, two, no, three spell gems, um, which are basically like the equivalent of um, scrolls. So like they're small gems that you can like cast spells off of. Um, then there is a rubbish cannon that is uh, that also contain and also contains a suit of golem forged plating too, which is big heavy armor. Well, I'm not trained in heavy armor, so I give that to whoever is, which is probably Adex. Yeah, I Actually, think it, wait, is Adex I, trained in heavy armor? Yeah, I can get all all big stuff. I, I technically already have hard suit stuff, but I, I'll carry it regardless. Yeah, we case. can sell it if necessary. It's um to give to give you uh to give you a note. Your current armor, uh, Adex provides oh, you a yeah. plus two bonus to AC and a plus three to KAC. This armor provides you a plus five bonus to EAC and a plus seven bonus to KAC. Oh. I just yeah. put her out, put her on. Yeah. No, I was like, Adex looks, everyone, don't look. Turn away, just behind the shack. Wheels around. Wheels I, around um, in fear. Put my cape over my eyes. All right. <laughs> there, there is also the light rubbish cannon, which is a heavy weapon. I guess he'll grab that, that too. To Adex. <laughs> Adex is like, hmm. there's a oh, small so. box, pulls out entire suit of armor, pulls out giant funny cannon. Pulls yeah. out suit of power armor. Oh. Huh. I was wondering where I left the, that. She'll pass all of the remaining gems to Yuliu, I presume, since he is a magic boy. Yeah, there is the uh there is the, the, the rubbish cannon. Uh then there are as I mentioned, some spell gems. Uh we'll get to those. Uh, yeah. 
Um, and then uh, there's the the computer uh, kit. Uh, actually, uh, Uliu, can you give me a mysticism check? I would love to give you a mysticism check. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, not the best. Ten. Oh, yeah, you're having a hard time identifying these. I'm going to uh, waddle on up to Lissa. Lissa, 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 Lissa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lisa, 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 Lisa. I'm uh. I fucking muted myself. <laughs> you fool. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, is this haunted? Tell me now. Oh shit! All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a look over and see if see if it's haunted. <laughs> gonna roll mysticism. As I set up the camera, he's like, "Is Jonathan here with us right now?" Yeah. At Walter. 18. Okay, so you're able to identify this is a spell gem of junk armor. And two, uh, and two spell gems, one of Junk Barricade and Junk Restraints. Both of those are, like, Junk Armor is a pretty basic spell. It, like, allows you to get some, like, light armor, Junk Armor on yourself. But the Junk Restraints and Junk Barricade spell are much higher level um, items. So, yeah. Oh, interesting. Well, I regret to inform you it's not haunted, and therefore I scribble something out of my notebook. But... It They're all Technomancer spells, by the way. I should say that, too. So. They seem to be some uh, spells of a sort that uh, have to do with manipulating junk to your advantage. Y you're a Technomancer, right, Uli? Yes, I am that, as well as many other things. Then I believe that you might make some use out of this, and I press it into his little hands and pat him on the head. Excellent power. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is it is for junk, but I mean, we are surrounded by it. Well, we are on junk world land also, so it is probably of being very good. Uh, um, um, uh, thank you very much, Lisa. I will now uh, listen to your podcast. And I just put on the podcast audio on my iPad before walking away. <laughs> uh, and I will actually walk away over to Kesher. On the opposite side, just kind of appearing, Kesher. Ah! Do you have being noticing that we are covered in landmines now? I noticed them when she pointed them out. What if you disarmed them and brought them with you? Uh... And she will regrettably put on a pair of EOD gloves from her kit, which are just rubber gloves, and prepare to disarm the all five of them. mittens. <laughs> wow, this right. is really scary. Not this, but the uh, goat. Was anyone going to make a computer check on the, the data pad? Sorry. Nah, oh. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, unless you want to. I mean, shit, I don't want to take away rules from you, mister. You already have a high shit anyway. No, no, no. You're you're good. You can, I mean, you're good. We're both we're both techie people. We're always going to be looking at techie stuff. Oh, I saw that one, but it's a 24. Yeah, um, so that's enough for you to to crack into uh, Zethelrid's uh, account, and you basically find out that this person, uh, this Vesk warrior, was looking for tougher and tougher threats to throw himself against. It, like, starts off with Kefik. Kefik I fed steroids to for two weeks. Whoa. Goblins. Goblins I trained. And then it's just like constantly like going through these things that this person fought. And then the f one of the final notes simply reads collected supplies, junk construct. Very cool. Oh. So this guy built a junk machine and probably died to it. Probably. Most likely. We can only hope. Actually, we need to hope the opposite because then he could tell us how to bloat it up. All um, right. Is there right. Like anything else we see around out here? No, that's that's pretty much the all the stuff of use from here. Uh, with that, you've kind of got like some supplies and some information, but can I it's... roll an engineer to disarm and collect the landmines? Uh, you can give me an engineering check. Yeah. Uh, Kesher's going to activate her her, her shield first. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to give one, myself one, seven one. hit points. And hit points, yeah, yep. 
Just just because if I don't, I might die. And if I and if I not, I'll just get it back later anyway. Uh, that's a fourteen. Uh, it's not a. You are able to disable them, but not in a way that will allow you to keep anything from them. Okay, so she she just puts out her shield. It's like, <sighs> okay, we can't salvage them. Let's go. Okay. All right. All right, let's move on, squad. Locked and loaded. Right. Adax moves forward. Are you gonna make your way towards the 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 area with the junk golem now? Yeah. yeah. Let's fight yeah. Yeah. Boy. All right. We're unable to find our uh, crazed old man. Hey. All right. Yeah. Woo. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. Woo. Like people listening in, not knowing what the hell is going on. We're waiting on Foundry and yeah, well, I'm, I set up and all that. Most of the debris radiates in this area from a central clearing as though pushed or violently thrown, save for a single slanted metal platform that has transparent aluminum screen as its sides. A trio of broken starship consoles stands on the platform. Um, the only remains of a small ship's bridge. As you approach, you can see a vast construct walking about here. It's trundling, it's footfalls causing great impacts on the ground. Look at that boy. Oh. It, uh, it looks like a human humanoid body constructed of components that you've seen all around here. I going to get all of you to roll initiative as you approach this area. Excellent. Very good. All right. He's big. Are, we, are we moving to a uh, new map, by the way? I've just uh, moved us. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah, sure, is rolling her initiative. It's, uh, it is 16. Right. She gets very And Nort should ones. not be in initiative. For the Why top does he keep bottom. coming in there? He wants to do it. Mm. For the top to bottom, you guys want to tell uh, what you guys rolled? Start off with the top of the list there. Uh, I rolled a 18. Adex also so rolled a 18. Plus one. Yeah, Adex also rolled an 18, but Duran has higher decks, so he'll go first. Gesher got a 15. Yuliel has rolled the 13. Oh, no. Junk Golem with 10. I got a CX. Got a CX. Six is the snakiest number. <laughs> that ever <Sultry>. slithered. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So with all of this, Duran, you get to go first. You see this thing walking around. It's like, of course, the camera like focuses briefly on like the tiny little thing that like peep part that's in its chest that has fallen in awkwardly. Um, but it's it's walking and it is its head sort of takes a note as your group of approaches through the junkyard. Uh, Duran go. is going to get themselves to a more advantageous position and scamper mm -hmm. on that away uh, and how okay. high up is this like crashed is this like a panel or is it a full like starship right in front of him it's it's like a panel you can climb up the sides of it like it maybe goes up about like five feet so you can climb up it okay i will yeah. do just that absolutely spend another five to get up i think that's as far as i can move if i have to move five up as well yes okay and am I permitted to hold an action if this thing gets closer? Uh, readying would be something you'd do as like your full action. Basically. I see. I see. Then at this point in time, Duran is just gonna pass the pass the conch to Adex because I don't have enough to do anything else. Adex, you're up. Awesome. As we could approach this, like, this thing's just kind of standing there, right? It it's definitely like turning its head towards you as you're approaching, but it's it's standing there, yeah. There's like a tiny bit of it. It wants me to negotiate with it, but I think we're ready <laughs> to blast it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Adex will come up 20 feet. Now he's got his heavy armor. He's a lot slower now. He can only go 20 feet. Guns ready. Yep. As, as I'm approaching, I assume this thing's still staring at me. It's, it's head is like kind of moving its mouth opened in like a silent scream. Oh, I'm sorry, little buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one second. Yeah. 
Yes, speaker. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get uh, Roshi to. Well, oh, you're good. <laughs> okay, the timing there was great. No. Okay. okay, Adex will look at it and go. It just. Oh, I'm sorry, little man. You gotta go. And start firing with the reaction cannon at him, and basically this start thing is firing. Like the size of an ogre, and you're like little buddy. He will fire upon him. That is a uh, that's a six on the die. Unfortunately, he gets oh. his ten total for KAC. Your bullets bounce off of this thing like it's nothing. Oh, pew, 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 pew. and that's the end of Adex's turn. All right, Kesher, you're up. All right, Kesher is going to move, so she is no longer shooting through Adex because he chose that spot to move to. Yep. Uh, and she is going to move to there. Hey. Okay. And she is going to fire at it, and so will Nort. Okay. Fire on it. Uh, no, seven. No, no, that will miss. That goes incredibly wide. Ooh. She sucks. Hey, VOD uh, viewers, skip next hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nort fires. Uh, that 11. also goes incredibly wide. Excellent. Glad to have, glad to have contributed. Good job. Uh, Uliu, you're up. Okay, I am going to uh, get to here. Yeah. And I'm going to cast... This is a large creature, yes? Yes. I will cast Junk Restraints because my gut tells me this thing is going to want to crush our fucking heads and we don't want that. Um, I, the spell, uh, it just tells me what spell gems do. Um, yes. I will use spell gem junk restraint. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. It, could you possibly drag in that spell or I can try and find it? Yeah, let's see if this can work here. Oh, look at that. I don't know why it zoomed in like that. Anyways, that just drugs I had it selected this way. Anyways, if you click on that, it'll bring a pop-up up of the spell. Um, you turn a tech, a pile of technological junk into fetters and shackles. Um, so you essentially, the, the creature is targeted, and then I have to make a, uh, or it's just entangled, I think. Yeah, a larger, smaller creature, causing it to be entangled for the duration of the spell or until it ends the condition with an acrobatics check. Okay, 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 okay. Now, there's a couple things that happen. So these come up and they entangle it, which is not good for it. But as this junk comes up and entangles it and the spell gem fizzles in your hand, um... It also suddenly, like, its head starts to bob and weave. Like, it, it looks like something's wrong, as though the the junk is mingling with its systems in some unforeseen way. Oh. Uh, that does not look good. What happened now going on? Um, and I will uh, express that to Kesher, and hopefully Kesher can give us insight on her next turn. We'll find yeah, out. I have to make a one sec here. I have to make a, a roll. Yeah, cool. I failed that roll. anyways. Cool. Sorry, I got a reflex hit against that, but it didn't matter. So, all right. Okay, so it is entangled. Um, and... Yeah, that's that's going to suck for it. Okay. Um, that brings us to this big boy. Um, and this big boy is now entangled. So that's going to be a problem. Uh, so the entangled condition means that it moves at half speed. It takes a minus two on all of its attack rolls, AC, everything. Um, so it's like it's basically being held in place by by this junk. Not like in place, but it's like it's moving. But this junk is is basically um, keeping it uh, locked in. It's gonna move though. It's gonna move half its speed, which is enough to get it to. Oh, wait. Ha! Ah! Which is actually not enough to get it into range of Adex. So it just moves up and it's held in place by this. Uh, Good by all support, of this. Yelly. Still entangled. Uh, Lissa, you're up as it sort of like moves towards you. Okie dokie. All right, he's nice and restrained. So uh, let's see. 25 feet from him is there. I'm going to scooch on up. 
and uh, yep. I don't know if he has intelligence, but frankly... You can make mysticism check to, to find out, but that is an action. That would be an action, and... Ooh, do I waste a spell slot finding out, or do I roll? You mean, give me out? a mysticism check, because you heard, like, the term of this thing before. True. Um, like, right. you heard what this thing is. Oh, never mind. Uh, you have no idea. Uh, do I have Not with a like, three no, on I the don't. dice. <laughs> Get dunked. I, I'm, I'm, I'm dunked upon. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Well, uh, I guess if that's my action, that would be my turn. No, 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 no. I I was giving you that one for free, uh -oh. kind of representing. So you still get an action. You can do whatever you want. All right. Well, uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm going to attempt a mind thrust. Okay. Nothing uh, happens. Yep. <laughs> nothing happens. Well, that is uh, my big damage spell. So uh, good luck, everybody. The more you know. You're on. You're <laughs> up. So Duran is going to assist their allies the best way that they know can, they can, which is through the power of music. I did want to ask yes. because of just how inspiring boosts worked before with other things that are active feats. Are those per like rest or is it just any time unless specified, such as get em. Oh, get em. You can just you can keep get em. -em, -em, -em. Yeah. Same with gift of song. Yeah. Also, I'm an idiot. It didn't move up close. Uh, it babbled incoherently because it's confused. So it didn't even move closer to you. Okay. It just stands there going. Blah, 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 blah. So back to you, Duran. Sorry. Of um, course. You. Yeah. You can. You can get him it. Okay. Uh, Duran will flourish their overcoat wide as the lenses on the inside materialize. Is called Apocalypse slash Kitar, mm -hmm. and begins to play a wonderful ditty. Those who are versed in human music might recognize these chords as the opening chord progression to Dare to Be Stupid. Oh, Excellent. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to utilize a gift of song to inspire my allies and gain a plus one morale bonus to their attacks and plus two to their damage rolls. Heck yeah, there you go. Wow. Popping it in the chat. He's singing. He's singing. Okay, cool. All right, that's that. Um, 8X, you're up. It's time. My little buddy, help me out. And now we're going to unload on this poor sucker. Full, uh, full auto. Du -du 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 -du. I'm going to uh, full on attack him. Yeah, two, two shots at minus four each. Okay. It's going to be minus three now, thanks to my friend. That's right, yeah. I can't put the modifier in, but this will do what it does. Uh, that is 213 KAC. That will miss. All right, dragon. Fire on it. Natural one. one. Ooh. All right, I'll just quit the game. End of turn. Yeah, you're, you're firing wild, wildly. Kesher, you're up. All right, Kesher's seeing uh, that... This machine must clearly have some kind of kinetic dampener that's causing all of our shots to go horribly wide. Yeah, she absolutely. will pause for a moment and stroke her chitinous chin. And what I'm going to maybe try to determine what we can do again. What are the? What can I do to roll against this thing's weakness? Engineering, if you want to recall it. Yep. I will recall knowledge. Yeah. She will roll a five. That's still not bad. Fifteen is enough for you to tell. This is a golem. So for, first of all, it's it's unliving, has no con scores, anything like that. Um, it's got all the typical like construct immunities. The big thing about golems, though, that you know, is that they are immune to magic, unless it is a specific type of magic. So all spells will automatically fail against them. Period. The only types of spells that work on against this type of golem are things that target junk or spells that deal acid damage. Mm, Every other type of spell does nothing to this thing. Uh, do we have acid or anything that targets junk specifically? Uh, we did just give Uli uh, the, the spell rock for it. Otherwise, uh... Nope. Kesher looks down at Uli. Would you like ah. to use that rock now? I have already used a rock. I can continue using rocks. Okay. 
and then Nort will fire his gun. Cool. He gets a one. Excellent. I, I love combat in this game. Well, you... It, we, nice. we, I know, we, we, this is not the game's fault. It, I'm <laughs> joking, <laughs> motherfucker. We've been rolling ones. It's, uh, it's very good. Uh, Uli, you're up. Okay, my two spells left are Junk Armor and Junk Barricade. Are either of those really useful right here? Uh, Junk Armor would be cool for me if I start tanking them. But don't you already have armor? I'd always like more if it stacks. Nice. Well, how about I help you in a different way? Um, so I'm totally open. So, so a, 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 a thing here is, is that you can, um, you can cast the like junk armor on the thing technically, um, to what you can tell is, is like the junk effects confuse it. Oh, so that's why it's confused. Now it remains confused for a indeterminate number of rounds. So you might just want to keep those in play for when it stops being confused. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, I shall use my invader training to take advantage of his weakness. And I'm going to uh, not get that close, but mm -hmm. uh, I am going to get this close. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, well, I will need to get one more closer. Sorry. Uh, and I'm going to cast Grease Ooh, nice. on him and uh, try to just continually uh, stun okay. his this is this is a silly thing. You can't cast it on him because it will not affect him because it is a spell that is targeting him. If you target the ground in front of him, however, it is a like tangible effect. That's the thing with golems is anything that targets them just fails. That's really cool. Uh, but I will just do that and I will lawyer okay. my way out of his effect. Yes. Yes, for Greece. Greece is like the one case. It's it's really it's really jank golems just are always kind of this like strange thing so what you do is you you put it in a in a square there um and then yeah it's gonna have to make a reflex save or is it acrobatics oh. nah, it's reflex it's reflex cool it falls prone yeah it falls. It in its weakness good job you only good assist okay it's knocked down the golem, the golem goes. Um, so first off, uh, one sec. I have to roll something privately. Okay, cool. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Okay, so it's confused. So I have to see what the butts it does while it's confused. Let's find out together. Uh, 97. Oh, that's great. It gets to attack the nearest creature. It doesn't have guns, does it? No, but here's the thing. It's also entangled, so all it can do is move five feet towards you because of the grease. Uh, so it starts crawling towards you, Adex. It's very sad looking. I shoot its, oh. I shoot its eyeballs. Listen, it can't look up. sad if it has no eyes. That's oh. true. <laughs> Um, well, I'm going to save my spell slots for when people start getting hit. It's very sad what's happening to him right now, but I don't imagine that's going to be the whole fight. Um, so... You said that the targeted spell attacks are not going to work, so tele telekinetic projectile... Correct. Just, okay, so even if it's like, um, I'm flinging an external thing So, so there... Okay, so, so the way it... it technically works is immune to any spell or spell-like ability that allows spell resistance. So if a spell doesn't allow spell resistance, uh, kinetic projectile, which I uh, think I, might... I don't, think, I don't see any, like, keywords or anything like that. Um, one sec. It'll say spell resistance. Uno momento. Spell resistance, no. So you can actually tell a kinetic projectile it. Oh, sweet! Yeah. I I'm forgot, like, cantrips, cantrips are oddly immune in these cases, which is a thing. I'm not very good at shooting my gun, so I'm going to throw a rock. Sure, throw a rock at it. Or throw some junk, or yeah. otherwise... Like uh, that attack roll. 14? So, the funny part is, is it's prone. It's entangled. 
Uh, you get a plus one to hit because of um, because of Duran. I think, and I just need to double check one thing about prone in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, you miss. I forgot. Ah! I f- I forgot, I forgot. Prone creatures in this game uh, only take armor class uh, penalties to uh, melee. to melee attacks and get a bonus against ranged attacks when they're prone. Also, same team she's shooting through me, so. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Uh, but you'd like, at this point, it's actually more susceptible in melee because of being prone. Well, uh, in that case, uh, looks like I'm going to be on healing duty for this one, so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna slither over here. Duran. <laughs> uh, Duran is going to sustain. Look behind door number two, monkey. It's time to play another line, my Valentine. Geroni, Oni, Duroni, Mo! I and love that show. Reaction. Holy <laughs> shit, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that was awesome. I, I love Duran. I'm, I'm you should, you saw now. that shit? I'm jealous. I only heard it. Yeah. 8X. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, fellas, God. got a big question. Do we have to fight this thing? We can probably just leave. You need the part that's inside oh. its chest. Sorry, I messed Gotta that part. Anyway. That <laughs> 8X, crush his skull, please. All right. Got it. Option. Thank you. God, there's a part of me who wants to throw a grenade at him. Anyway. No. Yeah, we're just normal firing this time. There's a rat to tell that's a 9, uh, 14 oh. KAC. I give think it that to misses. you. Ah, thanks, man. I'll give it to you. Appreciate it. You might not. I roll an 8 oh. total for damage. I 8, 10. A cause, cause small of... amount of that damage. About half of that damage gets through. Oh, boy. <sighs> hey, um, it's like yep. six thirteen p.m. Central uh, Time. Yeah, let's speed. Let's, let's speed run this. Okay, Catcher, everyone. Yeah. No role play. Roll. Just roll Catcher, it. Just go. Hang on, fucker. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's a joke, Arendelle. Come on, man. Yeah, come on. Get with it. I, I'm gonna have words for you after this. Regardless. Regardless. <laughs> All right. Is there any way we could get that piece out of there without fucking fighting this entire goddamn thing? I mean, if someone gets close and does, like, some maneuver checks to get it out, sure. Uh, my shield's still up. Kesher will sprint in madly and get it. Or try oh. to. Okay, cool. Give me, uh, give me a melee attack roll on it when you're in there. You got it. Here she goes. Crab. Let me give you my unarmed strike. Yeah. Attack. Uh, anything at all? Nothing. I don't uh, think, all right? of the bonuses will be applied because of the penalties it has. You get like you'll get a bonus, but we'll factor it in. That's a net one. Nope. nope. I tried, guys. I'll you see tried. you in hell. Bot shoot it. Uh, bot shoot. Okay. Bot 17. hits it. Roll me damage. Cool. Damage. Go. Four. Nice. Cool. That does full damage because it's an energy, so it's cool. uh, it's hitting on fire. Cool. Well, hit by a laser. Uliu, you're up. Okay. (laughs) Um, I am going to do the thing that I do, and that is shoot at the creature. I will be uh, having to just deal with the fact that he's harder to hit. Um, So, ack, ack, etc., etc. The invasion is on. Uh, 24. That'll hit. Give me Je Uh, Dimashio. Take that. Okay. Nine. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's a great, great hit. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's taken a fair amount of damage there. OK, uh, the golem gets to go, uh, but it's still confused. So now I have to see what it does. Technically, um, technically, if it was attacked, you always attack the creature that last attacked you unless it is un- otherwise impossible for it to attack. So it is impossible for it to attack you, Uliu, because it cannot physically reach you. So I have to roll to see what it does. It's a 57. So it does. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Okay, sure. That's cool. It starts hitting itself. 
Good. Back. So sad. It is. I know. It is. It's really bad, actually. It starts smashing its own face in. Man. <laughs> this is As just it's sad. bashing it in the ground. Lisa. Lisa, the painful style enemy. Uh, well. I'm gonna. <laughs> So you like paranormal things, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's haunted. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to move up there. He's got dead uh, in him. He's got dead in him. And I guess I do technically have a laser pistol, and that's going to do full damage, despite the fact that I am not a good shot. Mm -hmm, so uh, mm -hmm. nobody's been hit yet besides the golem and himself. <laughs> Correct. Uh <laughs> So, uh, I'm gonna try to shoot him. Yeah, that's right, chat. They're bullies. Um, that will Seven. terribly miss. <laughs> uh, Duran, you're up. Okay, Duran's gonna continue sustaining. Uh, oh, how, how are we doing? We're approaching the end of the song. I can't keep this solo up forever. Please keep going. Oh, wait, By all that means. It would have actually done another uh, four points because we didn't factor in your song damage bonus on those last two. Oh. Yeah. Yay! Cool. Yay! Right, keep the keep the song going, Duran. All right, Adex, song going. you're up. Blast them. All right, uh, I'll move up this way so I get a uh -huh. clear line Climb of sight. Up. Yep. And then I will fire. Fire. Fire your grenade. That's fifteen. Gets a KAC. This is, it's actually enough with the penalties it has in your bonus, so yeah. Awesome. Max damage, Whoa. eight piercing. Nice. Eight piercing, so that is ten. So yeah, yeah ten. You, you start putting more holes into it. It's, there we go. it's looking very turn. bad. Kesha, you're up. You know what she's going to do. She's going to try and do another grab at it. <laughs> Fuck it. Go, funny crab. Say eleven. Uh, not uh, actually. Wait, no, that is enough because uh, it takes a minus four in melee. Excellent. So that's just enough for you to swipe the thing out of its chest plate. I got it. It just as fucking a shot comes from Zoran's gun. Yep. Right uh, that's grabbed. your attack. Do you want to move? Uh, yes, she would like to leave and and provoke an attack of opportunity from the giant robot. Um. Yeah, it can't take an AOs. So okay, so she's going to run very far away. And she's tugging okay. it under arm like a football. Let's just go. Well, Let's you're up. Uh, I just want to take a moment very quickly to just say that the image of this entire party mag dumping into this horrible junk golem while Duran is doing this sick solo music video in the background yeah. is mm -hmm. actually completely fucking awesome. Welcome okay, to Starfinder, now yeah. Now I'm going to blow him up. That'll hit. Go. 18. That'll hit. Yep, that'll okay. hit. Roll damage. Just two. Okay, it's... The it's plus two, isn't it? I got it. I got the plus two for it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I, I let Nort shoot. Hang on. He has to fire his stupid gun. Oh, good. Too. Excellent. Excellent. Blast him. Since I guess we're sticking around to shoot. That hits. Let's... We did XFL with the elevator call. We can leave now. It's like we can we can stop. We don't have to do this. Yeah, this thing is like, like it's 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 like the Terminator. Like its legs have now been broken off. It's kind of pulling itself uh -huh. on. Uh, um, it, like it, it's like one of its eyes has been blown out. Half of its arm is is also torn That's just off. A mercy to leave it like it is. Yeah, <laughs> and it like continues to pull itself forward five feet after Uliu goes because it's all it can do. Wait, actually, sorry, sorry, sorry. If I. If I roll the the fifty some odd again, it could kill itself. Uh, I do not. It continues to pull itself forward. Lissa, you're up. You know, this is just sad. Are we just going? Like we can go. We're gonna put out his misery, but. Uh. Oh. It is crueler to let it live and cooler to kill it. Oh man. Lissa, you're right. you're a decider of morality. What do you think? You know, I think we got the thing, right? Yeah. Six seconds are up. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. I'm, I'm gonna. Liz is leaving. Duran's leaving. 
Is oh, everyone oh, leaving on. this? I'm thing? not leaving oh, yet. Oh, Duran, Duran. Okay, what are you doing, Duran? Uh, if the other party members are just engaging, we. <laughs> why? Why are we finished leaving this job half finished? It's not a job. We just needed the object. Yeah, no one cares Do about this thing except kind of our weird sense of morality that magically showed up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to kill this unliving so, thing that has yeah. no emotions. <laughs> Duran so, Duran, to... how are you killing this thing that has no emotions? <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my six seconds of speaking. If they can't hear me, then talking to Uliu telepathically. So, we are going to finish this number. Yes, right? we are going to light him up until he dies. Yes. All right, <laughs> you are like your style, my friend. And Duran will drop the song, finish off with a power chord, and since he's already wielding the core apocalypse. Fire off around at the jungle. Wow. This is where you need epic roll. That's pretty good. It'll hit. All right. It's it's a two. It's still alive. It's still still crawling. Like you, you've like broken off its jaw. It's still pulling itself. Oh my Adex. god. Oh, just finish <laughs> this fucking thing. He looks at Uli for confirmation as his mini gun is revving up. Uh, it's the goal of it doesn't have an int score. I hate <laughs> it. I'm a robot and I have feelings. You're, <laughs> you're, <laughs> not, <laughs> you're not a robot. This is what your humanity you are... gets you a miss. This yeah, is it's what true. That'll done. miss. This is what you've done to us, Thurston. Rock grind is so hard that when, we, sure? when we do this, we feel bad. Kesher no. flees the field, but Nort's going to shoot it. <laughs> Perfect. What, what the fuck is Nort going to do? He has no morality. Good. True. Roll the Nort attack. Yeah, he Nort misses. will miss. All right, Straight Uli, Nort Uli, it's up to you. I am out of ammo. I take out my <laughs> rifle. <laughs> And I'm going to shoot with my auto target rifle. Jesus. 24. Okay, yeah. hit. Can, can you get over the damage reduction? Five plus two. This is just five. <laughs> oh, God. It has one hit point left. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my Come God. on, Lissa. Do you want to not commit the war rock. crimes forever? The rock can oh. do it, Lissa. One it rock. Pulls, it pulls itself five more feet. Lissa, oh. you're up. No. Come on, Lissa. Go before it gets rock, to index rock, or we rock, lose. Rock, 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 I, rock, I, rock, I, rock. You don't have to. I'll do it if you won't. God. We are we are in we are initiating you into our blood right gang ritual. Yeah, this is this is the episode two, the morality episode. Oh god. Put a rock between its innocent kill. eyes. You get this kill, Lister, you get a raindrop tattoo. Oh, he's just so sad. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's crawling towards you like a fucking head crab zombie. Yeah, <laughs> with the yes. inside of its mouth just filled with serrated <laughs> blades and whirling songs. It's so sad. <laughs> it's, for for it's, listeners, 18 KST, the hit it, and, it, and uh, she rolled five bludgeoning. Is it bad? Person. I sorry, I posted in chat. <laughs> I hate that there's nothing in chat. <laughs> Wait, we're fine. We're yeah, fine. Yes, oh, did is. it yeah, no, yeah, it's, yeah, there, yeah, it's there. It's there. Oh, there it's it there. Okay. No one's adjacent, so it does explode. <laughs> oh. uh, but no one takes damage okay. from it. And, and then it and then it dies. Look, it's got the little sad dead thing. You can all look oh at it. Oh my god, stop saying the word sad. It. Oh, so sad. And that's what we're going to call it for today's uh, episode. <laughs> Excellent uh, work, best. We survived the Excellent indomitable work. golem. <laughs> actually, never actually, has the clay golem been so sorely tested. Actually, actually you, 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 you did survive it, because if that thing got anywhere near you, it would dunk you. Yes. It does D8 plus 9 damage. Oh, I don't know. standing oh. there looking miserable yeah. while everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> Kesher's just Kesher's just fucking hot footing it. She's left. She's sprinting yep. away. Oh, 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 oh. Good job, everybody. Good job. Yeah, good job, everyone. 
Uh, yeah. so, so that's the end of our adventure today. But I'd like to thank all the amazing players for coming over and killing a innocent junk giant who's confused of its life. Starting uh, out with Odoroshi. Hi, hello, I'm Odoroshi. You can find me on Twitter at Odoroshi Rider in the Discord uh, at, at Odo. And uh, I was playing Lissa Sarissa, the Ramiel Mystic. And I got some complicated feelings about what just happened. Then, of course, the rocker, the rocker who brings our life to the stars is Hulky Crow. That is me. I am Hulky Crow. I, of course, can be found at the usual places on my socials on Twitter, at Hulky Crow, as well as on Twitch, at Hulky Crow, because I stream now as well. Funny stream coming up on Halloween, by the way, Tuesday Ooh. evening. Uh, of yeah. course, I was playing the Moyushu Envoy Duran, and Duran feels nothing if not satisfaction for a job well done. <laughs> we have our skittering mechanic, Arendelle. Yeah, I'm an Arendelle, and you can meet me at Twitter at Arendelleo, and maybe on Discord if you got me there, and I was playing uh, Kesha the Recreechi, and she is a mechanic, and she is afraid, and is clutching a, an object. Hooray. The destroyer of your plans and subjugator of your world, Speaker D. Hi there, I'm Speaker D. You can find me in all the evil things that me and Erndil create on Alphabusa's evil channel, Brother Alphabusa, and other Ogre and Popening animations such as Under the Parenting and the like. You can also find my own uh, actual play. Uh, currently, the first four sessions of the Norfolk Wizard game, a Mage the Ascension 20th anniversary actual play, are up on Spotify. And you can find the animated uh, test of because all these will eventually be animated, on Alphabusa's Patreon. That is patreon.com slash Alphabusa. And of course, we have our illustrious game master, Thurston Hillman. Y'all need Saren Ray. <laughs> and as like, we I try to I find fictional God, I have, been your mm -hmm. I have been your host for this evening. I am Zorn the Bear. You can find me in all the stuff. You just Google it. Thank you all so much, very much for watching. And remember, check our Discord for the schedule uh, for this stuff. We have like a schedule section on the Discord. And things you can find it in the video descriptions and stuff or on Twitch. You do exclamation point Discord and stuff. Check us out there and get ourselves a little Google calendar. It will tell you all the stuff that's happening. But with that, I think we are done. Love you all very much. We'll all see you next yeah. time. Stay safe out there. And goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye.